randomizer campaign because they're a lot of fun and i just felt like doing one uh, i was going to do the six player campaign but uh with this new build that we got handed like yesterday um i, I was like fuck it uh i can't really i I'm, i cannot be bothered go coming off the patch i was gonna do this yesterday um did you get 4.2 early yay i've been playing i've been doing some battles with some 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 guys milk and cookies and a couple of other dudes uh, it's pretty just much just what the DLC should have been, you know? Pretty nice, honestly. Free shit. Well, not free, especially if you pay for the DLC. But I think they're releasing they, something's free, right? A lot of the reworks are free. They uh, reworked the Lizardman, which is pretty cool. Um, they changed them so that it's... Uh, I can't remember. There's, there's patch notes up, right? People have been going through them. But uh, cool one is lizard men now have like a, a thing where croxagors have like a pred predatory fighter. Is that it? No, a spawn kin. Yeah. So if they're if they're skinks in range, they get a, the damage buff, and skinks get a a cause fear when they're near um, uh, croxagors, which is great because it also makes them immune to fear, which makes your front lines hold super good if you have croxagors and skinks. It also gives you a reason to recruit something other than Croxagors when you're playing as uh, Crocodile Man, Nikai. Did they add Zuckerberg? They did tweak Zuckerberg's favorite faction. You know? Other, the, the, the faction made up exclusively of, of CEOs, of Facebook CEOs. But anyway, I was thinking just Britain Immortal Empire's life. Fat Kislev campaign, buff, Hot, uh, Drugina, Lord. Patch drops? Yeah, there you go. It's three, boys. Patch should drop. You should all have access. We can do a play- Wait, what if I just- Hold on. What if I just came off this build, put it on the regular one? Nah, because then there's no- oh, Okay, he would still have to update the old world mod. And also, I'd have to change the title. No, okay, well, I'm just gonna continue. Anyway. Yeah, the patch is out right now, guys. So you could be downloading it right now, I think. I had to close Steam and then reopen it. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, the, the patch should be up. Anyway, I'm going to play Serena. Mm, actually? Okay, I need good faction effects. Diplomatic relations with the Ice Core, don't care about that. Patriarch, buffs, Kislevite. Warrior, dude. I see. Okay, here's the thing. I don't need Witch Frost Maiden buffs and shit like that because I'm gonna recruit hopefully Hags because I want to test out the lore of Hags because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you. I haven't tested out lore of Hags yet. I've barely seen it. Okay, will there be another BG3 uh, rando run? Um, 
Maybe. I've been thinking about doing some BG3 stuff. It's, it's just more like, I've been so busy lately um, with the new house and shit. I've just, I've barely had any time to work on anything. Um, and I wanted to test out the new, the new Warhammer stuff. Who should I play as, though? Because... I'm gonna replace them with the Georgina, and I'm also gonna be randomized, and we're also gonna be going pretty much exclusively for uh, the new units. Play Baba Yaga? I'm not gonna use her though, I'm just gonna replace her. Spiders, hatchlings, see I don't want any of these buffs, they're not good. Do you have relations with the Ice Core? Warbear Rider, buffs, I feel like maybe... Kisselvite Warriors, oh Kisselvite Warrior buffs. Okay, maybe we just play as consultant and then we replace him. Remember, I'm all the factions are going to be randomized anyway, and he has better faction colors. Successful patriarch actions, ward save for embedded patriarchs. Yeah, you know what? We're going to support the patriarchy, and I'm going to play <laughs> as a bold man. Although I'm going to replace him, like I said. Stanky, should Stalton sounds good. Oh, the Chad Stalton mod would have been a good thing to turn on. Just just for me to replace his handsome ass. Alright, uh, yeah, yeah, let's leave this on, why not? Let's, let's really just get butt fucked. Why not? Um, alright, very hard hard, sounds good. What, what happens, what's the difference between hard and very hard? Battle difficulty other than the uh, the unit stat changes? I'm curious. Because it's a... Wait, hold on. We'll try and evade spells and... I, I don't like that they, they uh, try and evade everything. I get it, but like, it's AI, so they dodge it instantly. Whatever, this is fine. Ooh, it's gonna lag like a bitch when we randomize all the factions, dude. I tested to see if this works. It does work, but it chugs. Judge artillery? Yeah. It, I wish they would just flank more. I don't care about their ability to dodge projectiles and shit. That's just kind of like a weird psychic bullshit. I want them to do stuff like flank more or be more aggressive. But that, that's just better AI programming. Alright. Fully randomized. Let's go. Let's see where it puts us. If, if it puts us somewhere that sucks, maybe we just restart. But I'm pretty sure we'll get a good place. I randomized on the test. And it put me... <laughs> it put me in um, Nangang. Nangao, whatever. Like the main... Uh, uh, cafe capital. It was weird. Oh, still going? Where did it put us? No way it put us like 10 feet away. No way it switched us out of Aaron Grant and put us in the altar of spawns. That sucks, dude. Why? <laughs> it's nothing. And it's also fucking uninhabitable. No, dude. Reset? I can't reset to do another restart. Unless I fully load it back. I, I don't want to go. This sucks. This sucks ass. Uninhabitable climate. 10 feet away from where we started. No thank you. All right. Let's take another roll. Fuck that. This feels wrong without the Chet Stout and visual mod. Okay. That is a. That is a. Sigma's will. A must for kids love campaigns. Or it better be. Worship. Uh, oh, it really doesn't save any of this shit, dude. Can I set- can you save presets of these? No. It kind of saves some of it. I'm pretty sure that was it. Trigger, long victory thing. Alright, let's go. There's an option that makes randomizer deprioritize uninhabitable if you have the mod for the thing. No, I have no idea. I'd, I'd have to toggle some shit. Elder Ring hype? Dude! Oh my god, yes! So, I was so mad. I didn't have any time to get shit prepped for an Elden Ring stream because I was working on, I was doing a bunch of uh, building stuff. Um, also, my controller broke, which was extremely cool, like three days ago. 
right before the uh the, i was like i'll replace the controller eventually whatever i don't need to play elden ring right now and then the elden ring trailer pops up i'm like fucking great i don't have a controller can't do anything elden ring based because you know i gotta play with the controller so i had to buy a controller i had to buy like, with like a charge port and all that kind of bullshit so i'm just getting that sorted right now you dare give me all this um yeah but I, I'll definitely fight clubs are coming back. I got I got to do some Elden Ring stuff. I, I miss the game so bad. I was actually playing it a, a shit ton. Um, a, I don't know, like like lately, I put it like an extra hundred hours over the last couple of weeks, got last couple of months maybe, like last two months, just playing it on and off. Ooh, that's on group. Yeah, definitely fight clubs are coming back. And also, I want to do like a fashion souls type thing where I just summon people in and I judge their drip. And it will change the the fight uh, prince will become the uh, the fashion prince for an episode, and we will just judge people's Elden Ring drip. And then I think maybe we any standouts where we're like where we're like you know sheesh, those will go into a category, and then we'll bring everybody in and we'll do like a tier list or some shit for the last things, and then. We'll find out who has the drippiest drip of all the drips in the land. Sounds good, right? Chris! With a t Oh, shit! Thank you, Chris. Oh my god, that means a lot, dude. I just got hit with some... Absolute bullshit... British council tax trash. I had to pay so much money. So, I'm... Dude, oh my god. And moving to a new house. Oh my... Okay, this is gonna be weird. Unpleasant? No, dude. Alright, it doesn't affect our growth. Oh, donut time. What do you guys think? Reroll or are we or are we just going to chill on the donut? Donut or nah? Donut or nah? Dude, thank you, um, Chris. Very much appreciated. Thank you, boy. Give him an 07. The Duke of Drip. The Duke of Drip is such a good name, dude. We should just... Yeah, I'll be doing like a public drip uh, drip check. My boy. Very nice of you. At Okoy, the climate debuffs from the faction because you are uh, ice inhabited people. Yeah, uh, Kislev actually have fucking terrible with that. It, it really does suck. I th does, uh, does Bear Man, Boris the Bear Man, Ursus actually like have any effects that let him settle in uninhabitable climates and shit like that like chaos because he's up in the the northern waste right like he's fine with chaos uh locations i think but i don't know i i feel like it's annoying i was playing i did a chaos dwarfs campaign a little while ago like and it makes all the other factions feel like shit because you can just occupy whatever you want it doesn't even enter your brain it's so op I think they should have a couple of climates that aren't super inhabitable or something. I know that they strip mine. Maybe give them, like, no uninhabitable climates, but some unpleasant climates. Because it's too OP, in my opinion. Norska? What do you guys think? Reset or stick? He only ignores chaos ways? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you guys think? Do we stay in the donut? I love this guy's voice. I forgot they sound like this. He sounds like a, a, a Russian jester. Through faith. Do they all have high-pitched voices? I didn't even think about that. I've never even noticed that. Endless veneration. Endless veneration. <laughs> Stick? All right, yeah, we'll stay in the donut. Why not? All right. Sorry, ugly. You're getting replaced by one of these fucking chads. Oh, my God. Okay, Vanguard, I think, is going to be mixed usefulness, but strong is going to be great because it's going to make this guy even stronger. Look at this chad. Ooh, the yellow coat is absolutely peak. Ooh. So, I absolutely love the Drujina. These guys are cracked. So they've got armor piercing, 490 weapon strength, which is pretty insane. 369 uh, armor piercing to 121. Really good melee attack. Uh, not so good melee defense, but it doesn't really matter. Decent armor, uh, movement speed, whatever. Uh, missile strength is nuts. So it's uh, an extra 100 bonus versus large. This guy 
chews through large targets. He's re it's weird how good he is. Like I have had the Georgina outperform everything. Also, this dude is like eight feet tall. He's such a Chad. Seriously, recruit a Dragina, and they will outperform. It's nuts. So I'm thinking of getting Speaks to the Forest. And we'll go with like a Lorax build. You know? And then we can uh, we can recruit a Lore of Hags. Uh, a Hag Witch of Hags. A Hag Hag. And then they'll get Regeneration, which is also dope. So... Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Man of the Land. You know, oh, also, they for some reason, they roasted the, uh, this dude in his little biopic look. They may look Repent! like middle-aged. They may look like middle-aged uh, reactionary landowners, but the Gina fight with considerable skill when their way of life is under threat. I mean, they roast him for no reason. Big Chad, though. What do we call him? Big... No... Average Russian. Average Russian guy. What's a good name for this dude? So, better Marcus Wolfart. He is kind of like a Russian Chad Marcus Wolfart who has a ton of armor piercing and melee. That's basically a good way of describing him, yeah. Vadim. Big Oleg. I do like Oleg. Large. Large. Lorax Oleg Large lar Large Oleg Grigori Rasputin uh, Maybe if we were playing as You know Actually Rasputin You know the guy I just replaced Or Or we could do the classic Ivan Ivanovich Ivan Ivanov. Ivan Ivanich Ivanov. Ivan Ivanovich Ivanov. All right. Good name. The haggiest hag. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. We need to work towards that. Uh, ew. Cav? No, thank you. Uh, I think we've already got a patriarch, so that's good. Patriarch! <laughs> Patriarch! <laughs> what? I never noticed the voices before. Holy shit. Did they pitch those up? Or is that just my audio? The Drusina are the protectors of the land. And then we'll call this guy Igor Igorson. Of Igor yeah. British taxes suck. That's why we threw their tea in the harbor. LMAO, USA, 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 United States. <laughs> USA, 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 Eagle Hamburg. <laughs> British taxes suck. That's why we threw their tea in the harbor. Thank you for the dono, Yurik. Yurix. Yurix. Yurix King? Whatever. Good name. <laughs> USA, USA, Eagle Hamburger. I love the fucking Plankton voice, dude. Thank you for the dono, my guy. Also, though, you guys aren't don't have shitty socialist healthcare things. So, it, USA is like, if you're rich, the USA is great to live in. But if you're poor, it sucks ass. I know that's kind of everywhere. But if you're poor in the UK, the government pays for all your shit. So. And I know I've seen a lot of people like that. I kind of want to just get new units, so I think the- yeah, 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 okay, so as standard, we can get a bunch of Kislevite warriors. Alright, where are our provinces here? Shrine of Kurnos. Alright, that's where we're going. Uh, we get to fight one of these dudes, right out the gate. Ragnar Death Dealer. What a name. Regina stand ready. Regina. What's it, what is this guy's voice lines like? Hold on. Defender of Kislev. Yeah. Of warriors. What a Chad. So these guys are never going to get recruited again. Why would you recruit a Boyar when you can have one of these Dragina? They're literally better in every single way. And they're cheaper? What? I thought they would be more expensive. Because the Boyars don't even get armor piercing. That's crazy. Okay, Boyars are extinct now. They're an ex-Russian species. There's no reason to ever get 
a boy are ever again they are gone they're gonna have to be again no above to defend Kislev. that's crazy Noble of the oblast. they'll never get recruited again who's ever gonna recruit a boyar when you can get a dragina they're better in every conceivable way oh who we got next to us the crooked moon mutinous gets okay weird that we got a rebel faction attached to us but i'll take it we can get the shrine of cain trojanil torland all right there's definitely gonna be skaven here there's no way that this is an abandoned province I refuse to believe. Ooh, okay, where do we go here? Because I don't need the hero boss. We don't own any of the major cities. Uh, we could buff Streltsy. I kind of want to recruit more new units, though. Uh, can anybody recommend any, any buffs? You can't get... They moved the, my favorite one, the pirate weapons. Range and reload timer. Like, this used to be a... Right here, and it used to take four turns. It was so good. Uh, God, dude, I don't know. Oh, growth, growth, yeah. Punish. His lives falls with it. I am before Ikid Claw. If it's Ikid, I'm gonna get slapped. Edokoi, do, do you get mounts with the new lords? Uh, Commander of no. The, the Dragina gets a horse, and that's it. Um, he is better on the horse. I kind of prefer him off the horse, though. I'm more of a foot lord kind of guy. You know. But he is better on a horse. All lords are better on horses, and I don't like it. Um, but yeah, I love the footlord model. I love the big, big beefy axe, the armor pen, the dope ass hat, and the trench coat. I'm, I don't. They look also. The horses have that human I faction thing, the where all the horses are little. They're like pre Chaos Warrior rework, you know. So they have teeny, teeny, tiny little baby horses, and it's not cool. Um. Damn, what avenue do we go down here? Whatever, screw it. Why not? We'll upgrade it. Although growth would be better. All right, yeah, I'm gonna dip it out. We're just gonna stack Kislevite warriors because they're new. Also, one of the models for the Kislevite warriors is great. They have like a pitchfork with an axe attached to it. Ooh, okay, who we got nearby? Crickspoon, mute, mute, uh, mute, mute, oh my God, whatever. Nordland, brother. Okay, no, these are the factions. Oh my God, they're so far away. The Jade. Court or up up here near we uh, where we were the Shrace Hiles over here Tabba yes. Clan, Oslin Clothik. Okay, so we got Crackerjack Dwarves nearby. I don't think we got a single <laughs> legendary lord nearby, so I'm wondering when we're gonna run into one of those. We'll see. We'll see. So axe fork, yeah, essentially an axe fork. What does Zoka think about Scarbrand and Corn as a faction? Maybe too basic, but uh, for some. But I have been loving. Uh, Choo Choo Brand. Yeah, no. Dude, who doesn't like Skull Brand? He's just a big screamy red guy. Um, the only thing uh, I get a little bit burnt out with is their uh, their territory mechanics. So they have that 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 system where if you destroy a, a town, you can burn it down and then you can build a building which increases your chances of occupying that town because it costs like 2,500 skulls to occupy a settlement after you take it. And that gets kind of annoying when you bur when you don't have enough skulls you burn down all the territories and then immediately you run out of um you, you can't occupy any of the territories so you just stop burning them down and then other factions come over and occupy those provinces before you get a chance to occupy them on your end turn kind of annoying so it feels like old chaos you know like back in the day warhammer 1 warhammer 2 chaos where you would just burn shit down and then it would be reoccupied by factions that you're you are either not at war with or are. Oh yeah, definitely Eerie Woods. Ooh. No growth. Alright, let's get an Eerie Woods going. I get growth. Big growth. I just want growth. I want to get some of these new units. Guardian of the land. Humble you. Pyrrhic victory. So, th so this is the new lord. The uh, the chaos, siege chaos lord or whatever. It's like essentially just the siege version of the the corn one, and the uh, slanesh one. Yeah, the slanesh one. He looks okay. He's it's very showy. I like uh, some of the other units more, to be honest. All right, let's do it. And okay, uh, you have Drusoth and Kairos. In Bretonia to do with. Yeah, but they're in Bretonia. They're not on the donut. We're going to focus on occupying the donut. 
He sure has a lot of weapon strength for a footlord of Siege guy. Dude, Siege are cracked. They're absurdly OP. I've been doing some, I was doing some multiplayer battles against a, a bunch of different dudes, like uh, Indie Pride, uh, Dove Plays, like Samurai, a couple of the guys, and uh, like, Siege are nuts. They're so, I, I, they just never lose. Yeah, he does have a lot of weapon strength and a ton of anti-large, 30 anti-large. And uh, ma uh, magical attacks, 125 with a silver shield. And on top of all of that, a, an 800 point barrier. Like, he's so ridiculous. That is, dude, I'm sorry, but wielding a halberd in one hand of that size, this dude's wrists must be unbelievable. Because that is too big. Also, Kislevite Warriors, underrated. They're actually very good. So I thought they would be a unit no one's ever going to use. There it is. Look at that. Look at this X pitchfork. I love these tools so much. It's the X fork. They've got an X fork, like some cool ass hook thing. A hoe spear type deal. But like, it's all pretty normal. And then just mixed in is this X pitchfork. I love it. What's a, a fork? A pickaxe, a pork? It, would it be a pork? Look, also, I'm sorry, but look how fucking absolutely massive this, this unit of a dude is. Look how fucking big he is. He's a seven foot tall trench coat wearing Chadlet, a Chadling. Look how big this motherfucker is, though. Like, like eight foot tall. Crazy. Okay, we start off with chariots, which is nice. Very cool. Oh, I hate, dude. I hate archer caps so much. I kind of wait. They're just called horse archers. Did they change the name of these guys? Weren't they called like Kosovite horse archers or Kosovite dervishes with bows or something? I don't know which randomizer mod. It's a. Uh, Randomized faction start mod. Obey the orthodoxy. All the, the factions are just randomized. That's all. Alright. Okay, they're gonna come to me? They're gonna come to me? Ooh, a lot of chaos furies of siege. Man, I dude, Siege are intimidating. They're really goddamn strong. They really, really are. Never sleep on Siege. What's the funny Sporkman selection sounds? We fight for it's kind of the same. Obey the orthodoxy. Follow the bear. Sons of Kislev. Yeah. It's literally the same. Like, it's like literally identical. I gotta say, uh, I still like how Kossars look like 50 million times more than these guys. But uh, Kislev prove time and time again to be the drippiest uh, human faction, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. I love the Russian drip with the coats. The fur coats and shit. It's unmatched in drippiness for me. Okay, have you tried the sandbox initiated? It randomizes the stats of, uh, of units. I did try that. I actually did a stream with that. Um, it's okay. It's just that some units... I, I put the parameters up so that they're very randomized. And some of the fights turn into slugfests. Where the units are just indestructible. In the weirdest way. It's it's It kind of functions... And it's okay. Okay, they're different castes of society, but both are Eastern European aesthetic. Yeah, yeah, I, I get. Yeah, I know it's it's based on like, um, what, what do you call it? Uh, uh what, who's the Wallachi, Wallachia, whatever, like Russian Wallachia, sort of Russian the area. I don't, I can't even Baltic. It's that kind of region. I know it's based <coughs> largely on Russia, though. 
Ogre mercenaries Slavic? Yeah. They're just... It's like a mix of Slavic culture in general. From different time periods, too. I just love how they look, dude. Even the costumes. Some of them jacked, just ripped Russian dudes with beautiful mustaches and, <laughs> and sleeveless fur coats. It's, uh, I wish I could grow a long mustache. I am incapable. All right, let's, uh, push up here a little bit. Apparently, they're just not gonna push, which is fine. Fine by me, dude. Big Jack mustache man? Yeah. I mean, a lot of the human factions do have mustaches. They're very time... They're very period appropriate. God, even the... I love Streltsy so much, dude. I think I might, like, really actually like his love a lot. Get in there. Get in there. People are sleeping on Ki uh, on uh, Kislev White Warriors, too. They are holding up a lot better than you would think. Especially with the buyer blood trait, they really actually kind of slap. Oh my godness. Yikes. Yikes, dude. Ooh. Oh no, you don't. No, you don't. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Not good, not good. Get in there. No, not the blues. Oh, these shields can suck my ass, dude. Champion of Kislev. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Okay, we're holding up alright. Oh, Kislevite Warriors are getting shredded. Alright, tear through them. Okay, we're chipping away. Furies are really good, dude. They're really good. Uh, can, oh my god, can we shred them, please? Can we just get rid of these pinks? Go, 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 go. As per usual, crumbling is a massively bad trait. Because their infantry will be doing so much more if they didn't crumble. Like, look at that. You, you just have to kind of do most of the work and then bail. I don't care if we lose these horsemen. I really do not like the melee versions. Dervishes are... I just like Cav in Warhammer General. Un, very uncool and unbased. Look, see, he's beating his ass, dude. Look at the... Like, yeah, four, 400 value. Really not bad at all. Ooh. And... Even with the the five stacks for Constellan's faction, okay, so these guys got kind of shredded. Hmm. They're usually tankier from my experience. Get him. Get him. Look at this big axe wielder motherfucker. Get him. Is that a new animation set though for these guys? Classic Total War Warhammer. Just Attack! refusing to hit him. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Ah. Just shoot him in the back. Shoot him in the back. Good shit. <laughs> Come on, dude. Okay, use range attacks instead. I was trying to get him to use range attacks while using melee, but yeah, as you can see, pretty decent damage. No fucking way he's gonna get out. No way. Oh! <laughs> nice. Got him. Okay, uh, Kizzlebite Warriors have AP, armor piercing, bio blood, anti lodge, and 40 melee defense, which, uh, is huge for a meat fodder peasant unit and cultural heights other units of the type. Yeah, I, I feel like they. If you attack them with anything really strong, they do start to fall apart a little bit. But they hold, like, they're pretty much the best tier 1 infantry in the whole game now. 
I would I would bet they would hold up pretty well against most other factions tier one. Especially with the new tier system and shit. You know how like Soros Warriors are technically tier two now and you know. Or or uh no, they're not tier three. The motherland widens. Can I just Drugina. Goodbye. Spurs his decisions. Okay. I need only the best. Restock also very good. Oh wait. Like 12, we get Tall's Judgment. Tall's Judgment is not so great, but once you start stacking these together. Ambusher trait. Ooh. Okay, so there is a Falcon Fletched Ammunition for Horse Archer units. What is Falcon Fletched? Don't you love it when you just it just says you get this and you can't find out what it is? It won't even tell me. God Damn, dude. Well, I'm curious. Maybe that'll be good. What about a horse archer doomstick? If you can get reload time reduction, falcon fletched, maybe a, a horse archer doomstick would be good. Depending on what falcon fletched is. It says it's anti. It says anti infantry. Yeah, but it can't just add anti infantry. That's boring. That would be good though. An extra flat... How much anti-infantry, though? A flat amount of anti-infantry for missile strength could be huge. Unless it... Obviously, it's it's for the projectile. It's not a melee trait. Depending on how much that adds, that could be pretty great. It's like Worm Piercera for the Javelins. We'll see. We'll see when we get it. Who knows? I want to know how much that is, though. Also, Man of the People. Hussavite Warriors and shit. Not the ranged version. Weirdly specific here. Considering you get this at what? You have to get rank 12 before you can unlock this? Are you even going to be recruiting low tier units like this by the time you're rank 12? Whatever. Weird layout. I Whatever. Alright, Salex Lullaby. Obviously. Regen. Are they loyal to the motherland? Oh, I wonder what's in this province. Could it be Skaven? Let's see what shoe it is. It's Clan Krizor? Clan Cringer? Pass Wars with the Sightless. Yeah, a billion percent that they're right there. New shit stack hero? What do you mean shit stack hero? Oh, wait, which. Wait, what? You mean, uh. Ivan Ivanovich Ivanov? Ivanovov? Wait, did I type that wrong? Ivan Novo. Ivanov. Ivanov? Ivanov. All Warriors and Kassars? Yeah, I kind of want to just keep yoking up Kislevite Warriors and get some just an all new units, you know what I mean? Kislevite Warrior Frontline, Exchange Ambushers, ha uh, Hagwitch of Hag, Hagwitch Hag Hags of Hagwitch, and then maybe a Frostworm. Uh, also, we need to build the Royal Barracks. I don't know when we actually get the quest to unlock her, but the Gold Knight would be cool. I'd really like to see the Gold Knight. Because they are they have some... Dude, the Gold Knight's items are completely broken. Um, they get an, an AoE that shuts off all abilities and all... Uh... Wait, can I get a growth? No growth. That's fine. Um... It shuts off all abilities and all spells for ev for, for lords nearby. It's actually crazy good. Like the Gold Knight is has pretty decent melee stats. They're very tanky. But um, oh my god, it's OP. The AOE shut off is just nuts. It invalidates all casters. It makes ah, oh, it's dumb. They're so fucking strong. But uh. Okay, man, are there any particular goals with this campaign? Just getting a shit ton of the new units, get the gold knight lady. Um Yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, I just wanted to show off how how Chad like the Dragina is. Also, I really just want to play this. I just want to play the new DLC and hang out. Ooh. We got a veteran warrior more re recruit rank. That's good. 
All right, let's kill some rats. Oh, uh, don't. Okay, good. I I was expecting it to do that bullshit where you're basically touching the cell, but you can't get in. Valiant defeat. Ooh, that's a lot of rats. Ooh, that's a lot of rats. That is a lot of rats. And some uh, storm vermin. Oh boy, with no spells. That's a lot of rats to deal with with no spells. They have walls. Um, uh, I'm gonna encircle them for a turn. Clan Crinzor. <coughs> Ooh. Oh, Gotrush and Felix may appear in this region. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Let's fuck this off. I don't need Cav. Cav is for nerds. Cav is definitely for nerds. And... All right, we can get a Hagwitch. Tier... Three settlement? How long away is that? I need 5.2k to... We're getting how much a turn? All right, we'll get there. Fuck it, let's get some turns in. 20 tree can doom stack and Sylvania cross bonus stack. Dude, I, you gotta let the meme die. I cannot tell you how many... Okay. I, I can't even begin to tell you how much I'm not gonna do that. Tree can are, are very boring and a very done thing. If I'm gonna do a doom stack, it's gonna be something like a shitty unit of... Ugh. horse archers for kids life. Or I'm gonna get 19 Satan mech... Archer guys for uh for Cathay or some shit. It's gonna be the every tree uh, the every stream tree man run. I like tree man. Tree men are fine. That's different. That's a, a an effective doom stack, my guy. Tree can are different though. They're boring. Tree men whole other whole other shit. Adoko dry to middle of the dry doom stack. I want to do the new units if I'm honest. I played with all of the old units. I just want to do new stuff. Oh, my shiny new toys. I'm just gonna keep stacking growth. It'll be fine. Oh, we ranked up again. See, I like lullaby. That'll be huge. Although, forty melee attack. Do you don't you get a, a set amount of uses with these, or is this one of the ones that you can just do over and over again? Because I know that one of them has like a use, like a stacked, like a capped amount of uses. I know that say like all by yeah yeah use is three that's infinite that's infinite oh okay then actually what do you guys think say like all by or do I go with like a battle buff because what's the cooldown on these because 40 melee attack for 25 seconds once every minute and 20 seconds it's pretty good regen one is capped I think yeah regen has two uses Heal for the Blob God? I feel like heals are really good, though, dude. Just keep going. Depends how long the battles go on for and shit, though. Ooh, also being able to just constantly re reset everybody's vigor is also huge. Ooh. I don't know, dude. Start heal is good when you've got more SEs. Healing? Ah, oh, but these are so good. I always sleep on these. If you could get all three, it wouldn't be a problem. Obviously, you can only get one. Vigor is mid. Yeah, but... Vi okay, units that are exhausted fight a lot less effectively than units that are... Fresh, though, dude. You know? Me and the melee attack. 40 melee attack on a rotation for 25 seconds at a time. That's actually... Ugh, I'm just gonna go say like Salabai. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna stick with what I know. And also, I can regen my boys. Uh, Let's get these both to two. And then we got, like... A Nice, 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 nice. Look at this. Oh, God, he's so hideous, dude. I, I hate to say it. Ooh. I hate to say it. He's an ugly man. Oh, she got 1,300. It's going to be at least... Uh, a second Patriarch would be real nice. Screw it, why not? Why not? 40 attack is huge. Yeah, no Chad Stout new. Hey, we're playing with a new Chad Stout. We're playing with Ivan, 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 I... <coughs> Ivan, Ivanov... Ivan, Ivanovich, Ivanov. God damn, dude. 40 attack is better for good melee infantry like corn. Yeah, but... 40 melee attack's good for everything, dude. What do you mean? 
No Chet Stalin mod? We're not actually playing with Chet Stalin. We're playing with uh, the new boy. My new favorite generic lord, I think. In like maybe the whole game alongside Doom Bulls and Ogre Tyrants, I guess. But Ogre Tyrants are a little bit kind of boring. I play, I just kind of play with them too much. And Sla I kind of prefer Slaughter Masters too, because then you're getting magic out of it. All right, we got our extra growth. Uh, ice sculpting heroes. All right, that's... Oh, wait, definitely this. For all these units that we're going to be using, like, actually in ambushes and shit, 10 growth. Let's just keep stacking growth. Get ridiculous, stupid amounts of growth. Get high-quality buildings out the ass. All right, are they taking any... Yeah, they have. Pyrrhic victory with high casualties. I'll lose all my shit, and I'll lose my light war sleds. Uh, I'll do one more. One more turn. One more turn. 19 Hag Doomstack with New Lord. Uh, I've thought about it. Hags have like this... They have something that makes it so if you have 19 of them, they all stack and become ridiculous. And I can't remember what it is. He looks like if uh, like Asmongold if he had a giant beard. Do you know what? Dude, I feel so bad for Asmongold. He's not a bad looking guy at all, but he gets the most disgusting... Uh, comparisons ever like have you seen the the Cyrax comparison people are like hang on people that keep uh oh wait is this guy like unknown people compare him to a Cyrax dude this guy <laughs> oh yeah wait I almost forgot the Kislevite monkey with the Smirnoff I'll leave him down here. But, uh, fucking... Do <laughs> people compare it to Cyrex? It's so mean. It's so mean. Like, Asmongold is not an, an ugly man. It's crazy. But, but you can see what they're going for. You know what I mean? Like a sort of a slim-faced kind of, like, ginger dude. But it's so mean, dude. Damn, Cyrax is more known than I thought. Well, yeah, I, like, I only know about Cyrax. I, I, I heard Danny Brown talking about him um, on the, uh, on uh, Shane Gillis' podcast. Shane Gillis and, uh, and uh, uh, oh my god. That's so embarrassing, I'm forgetting the name. Wait, all units in melee defense win in own territory. Ah, yeah, bleh, bleh. Uh, Leadership buffs. Yeah, he was on two bears. Uh, not two bears. God damn it. Uh, Man Chain Secret Podcast. And uh, he was talking about Cyrax and how he, how <laughs> this super famous music artist, Danny Brown, trolls Cyrax. For anybody that doesn't know who Cyrax is, he's like this mentally challenged Patreon. lunatic, but he's like actually a terrible person. Patreon. So people have tried to... Uh, also, I think he was caught out for being a, uh, a pedo and stuff like that. So he's a terrible person. I'm gonna hold on for one more turn and really milk these guys so I can get the Patriarch over and get him some experience. Oh my god, he's actually called I fought a bitch! I did that name as a joke, dude. Ready, radiation, ready, Asian. Um. Wait, wait, what are they called? What's that place called where the nuke went off? I'm so dumb, dude. My brain is like the worst ever. I'm trying to remember the name. The fuck? Chernobyl. Yeah. God damn it. Chernobyl? Is that how you spell it? Chernobyl? Pipriet? Pipriet? Ivanovich meaning. Yeah, Ivanovich means son of Ivan. <laughs> so he's called Ivan. So he's called what? Ivan, son of Ivan Ivanov. Is that his name? <laughs> that makes it even better. So we've got Igor Ivanovich I Ivanov, Igor, Igor, son of Igoria, and Radiation Chernobyl. <laughs> That's such a dumb name, dude. These names are terrible. I hate it. Alright. Sir Putenberg? Putenberg's pretty funny. I could call him Vladimir Putin, but I could I could spell the name Putin like P O O T I N. That's a dumb name. It's 
speaking of Chernobyl and Pripyat and other Russian things, is anybody going to play the Stalker sequel that's coming out? I think it's, I think it's uh, coming out this year or next next year. I've never played a Stalker game in my life, but I kind of want to play it and maybe stream it because I will be an absolute coward, and it will help having chat there to watch my back. All right, Radiation Chernobyl, get in the army, dude. Is he going to be garbage? I, I got a really bad feeling. Nah, come on, be uh, optimistic here, dude. You just gotta be optimistic. I could just auto this, but I feel like. Let's check the casualties. That's not too bad. And I got a blue item, I think. The Axe of Tor, medium strike. Air oh, dude, it's literally perfect. The Axe of Tor for Ivanich, Ivan, Ivanovich, Ivanov. Medium strike area engaged in melee. Wait a minute. 672, 100% armor piercing with 96 explosion damage. A four second duration blast. Is this really strong? That on paper is mega strong. Like depending on the shockwave of that medium strike area. Isn't that like a, a high quality infantry blender? Oh shit. Abandoned shrine of the Widowmaker. I forgot this is where the... Sword of Cain goes. Can we get the Sword of Cain? How do we get a Sword of Cain? I'm going to leave the Palisade. Palisade. Palisade? Palis Palisade. Whatever. Palisade, Inca for Boast Battle Loot. Faction wide. Oh my god, this is great. Commander and we have great regen. This uh, is mine alone. Double Salix. Ooh, actually, I'm going to get the Replenished Troops. No, wait. I'm going to get Salix Lullaby. And then on this guy to get replenished troops and bam we should get higher Guardian replenishment get some more kislevite fellas and uh we're shaping I up nice now we just gotta best. occupy the rest of these unoccupied settlements that definitely don't have rats in them and then we'll take the phoenix gate which they also own i think man yeah the unpleasant climate is really not very pleasant <laughs> Okay, it's pretty much uh, Uranus Thunderbolt Overcast on three times you sit for free, and now you can't get the Sword of Cain. Only elves can draw the sword, but everyone can steal it. What? So what if somebody already has the sword? How would I know? Because does it just appear at a certain point, and then I won't be able to pick it up because I've got I've got frail man hands? Okay, I out. I put a monkey in Patreon. It's not a very good one though. <laughs> Did you make a? Hold on. <laughs> I like it. I'll use this. Fuck it. Oh, uh, nice. Thank you, dude. Thank you, Plague. Where do I put my monkeys? I have a folder for monkeys. I have a whole folder for this. There, there. All right, let's swap him out. New Ivan Ivan Ivanovan Ivan Ivanovich. Ivanov monkey incoming. Oh, you can see the hat peeking up there. <laughs> All right. Nice. Thank you, Plague. Oh, shit. Whoops. All right, let's stick him right here. Nice. Nice. All right. Moving on. I'll oh, get... Eat my... Huge, huge nuts and balls. Can I go in the water? Maybe? No. Uh, I hate being kind of close, but not. If I go here, will I have enough movement to get there next turn? No, probably not. Don't you love being just slightly out of range? Isn't that everybody's favorite thing? We should uh, take some territory we don't give a shit about, by the way, and trade it away for allies, because we're going to need some kind of friends. Don't get a ban for being so pro-Russian. What? You can be pro- Oh, right, because they're at war with another country right now, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> I'm so not tuned in to anything political or important in the world. I just make- I just do fucking YouTube stuff and play video games. 
Just console the sword after building the thing for it. Nah, nah, I'm not gonna spawn anything in. I, have, I have, who needs it? it who needs it? I got the axe of Tor, dude. And I literally actually have the axe of Tor. It, it's even <laughs> the thing in the image. It's like the same thing. It was meant to be. Love? Give me, give me, give me, give me. What is this, man? Why do they have so much fucking shit? Is this another siege? What? Oh, the other building had a level two uh, garrison building. Right. This is probably the capital then, because I can build siege equipment. All right. Um, let's build some watchtowers and just hold it, man. I guess. God damn it, dude. Clan Cringor is really getting my nut here. I don't like them. Uh, leather. Wait, fifteen percent missile resistance for horse archers. How many? Hold on. Horse arch. How many buffs can I get for horse archers? Oh, just that? Are you serious? No way. No way that's the only... Is that... That can't be it. Not a single other buff? Because, like, if you put in... Uh... Kossar, there's, like... There's two. There's only two. Man, that sucks. There's not a lot of unit buffs. What about... Ice? Wow. Ice... Something. Ice God, whatever? Ice... Two? Okay, whatever. Maybe that's normal. Adelkoi, do you know that Brexit is a thing too? Yep. I didn't even know what Brexit was for, for a hot minute. I'm gonna be honest with you. It took me a minute to look, actually look into it and be like, Oh, it's a thing that, that deeply affects me and everyone else in the UK. <laughs> oh, I should probably be concerned about this, but I, I'm not... Ooh, you know what? Uh, eight fucking turns? Oh, this sucks, dude. This place is deeply unpleasant, and I don't like it. Construction time plus 50%. So this would have taken four turns. Oh, my God. No wonder this took so long to build. Oh, the Eerie Woods generates money? Why? I'll take it. I'll... Fuck it. Wait, do all of these, do all of the Kislevite buildings generate money? Income from all buildings, 5%. No? No, it's just this. Huh. Alright, well, we can get Akshina ambushers, which are gonna be pretty huge. Maybe we recruit the Supreme. No. Defend the mother! Alright. We gotta starve out these rats. The game could have done something to tell me that there was rats in this this abandoned settlement. Def they definitely had no rats. Tourist attraction? Normalize being out of loop? Yes, dude! Or maybe not normalize... Okay. It might be a little bit like, normalize not giving a shit about probably really important political events. But, you know. I just don't care. I don't care. What's... That's why I always use the climate adaption mod. Yeah... Ooh, Valiant Defeat. Oh, okay, well they got two Chieftains, which are gonna be a pain in the ass. Can I win this? I think my Infantry Corps is gonna help me out, the fact that I've got that heal, but they've got... Mostly trash tier Infantry, no specialties. It's literally just this little Infantry Corps of Chieftains and then the Hybrid Weapons guy, and then just an overwhelming amount of rats. But we have a couple of things. I'm gonna have to micro the war sleds. This is where I would love to be able to hand a couple of units off to somebody in multiplayer. I still want that mod that I was talking about, or, or that the ability to have like seven spectator slots in a campaign and it not cause lag, where you guys get to, where you can like jump in, spectate the game, and I can give you my troops when I'm in a campaign. How awesome would that be? If I'm just like, all right, I'm giving you guys all of my skirmish troops so I can focus on whatever. Like in a multiplayer campaign. I don't cry. It's good. It is good to not be too world news focused because that can drag you into a bad mood quick, but also bad to ignore it too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some kind of balance. I guess I'm definitely in the camp. Ooh, the X of Tor could be huge here, dude. All right, hold on. Let's get a really good defensive position. Oh, that's awesome. Is this a CA Warhammer 3 map with actual terrain that you can get on? 
Do my eyes deceive me? Is this terrain that isn't blocked by invisible walls of, of sadness? That's nuts. Alright, can I actually... Can, okay, it looks like they can get through there, so... But we can get a good high ground going here. Alright, one... And then ranged stuff, so we'll have... Frontline... Frontline... Hero core in the center... We'll have our archers go out in range. Chariots sitting in the wings. Here. Here. And then ranged on the hill like like these. But I'm going to put my gunners here. Archers here. All right, that should be good. And then they should hopefully just run. I can't draw on my own map. Why? What? I can't draw my map because it's not multiplayer? I can't draw penises on my own single player map? What is this? Alright, well... Land is power. So, hopefully they'll just come straight at me and they'll hit this clip and they won't flank around this little side bit. I think I'll have good line of sight here. So... A little bit further up the hill like that, maybe. Look at this guy. All right, remind me, somebody, if I'm not using the exit tour, remind me because I want them to hopefully group up here. I'm actually gonna move over a little bit more to try and pull them in more directly. Oh. Okay, these guys aren't hidden at all. Wait, you can't hide with them. They're fucking chariots. I wonder what new things they bro broke this patch. Maybe we got another funny like Greases. That's a once in a lifetime funny moment. There's no way they... they I, I wish they would do funny shit like 400 speed Greases. But it's, it ain't gonna happen. Ooh, they're definitely sending units around the side. That sucks. Um, God damn it. I'm gonna have to hold them there. I'm just gonna have to send this little unit here. Oh, 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 oh. Alright. Good shit, good shit. Getting some good shots in. Let's get this guy. Try and target their guys. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh, are they turning? No, they're definitely in the trees over here. Alright, hold this. Bio blood will keep them held for a little while. And then let's get our infantry core in. I'm not hitting shit here, dude. Alright, let's, let's move in. Start not jibbing out there, chieftains. Get in there, bud. Hopefully they'll blob up. A lot. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Run, 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 run. Just distract, just distract, just distract. Alright, we should be able to chew that guy up pretty good. Put them on skirmish. Uh, no, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Use your mass, use your mass, use your mass. Ooh, sheesh, yes, hit him. Alright, say like syllabi, leadership buff. Oh, whoa, 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 what? What? I guess I accidentally moved my, there's no way they broke already. Did I move them back, Baxton? Uh oh. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Looks like we kind of like... Nice, nice. Are you serious? What the fuck? Okay, fuck skirmish mode, dude. Where are my chariots? Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh my god, dude. Run. 
Run, 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 run. All right, chew the, the sheath in there. Hit me in the flanks a little bit here. All right, looks like Chelsea are holding all right. All right, I got to get this guy into a blob. Uh, I got to get him. Come on, come on, come on. Moving out. Come, come go, 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 go. He doesn't have the mass, dude. Get into the blob fight, dude. Come on. All right, I'm just fuck it. Oh, 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 shit. Okay. Damn, dude. Really? I thought it was going to be like a. All right. How big is it? Is it like a. Ah, it's like a lightning. Th oh, that's so much better than I thought it was going to be. Wow. Alright, Kossauers are holding on, Streltsy are doing a pretty good job. Alright. Dude, are you kidding me? Oh, they're not on skirmish. Why? Alright, they're gone. 66 seconds. There's some big blobs here, dude. I don't know if... Not great. Crosshairs are holding on. Champion of Kislev. Oh. The motherland's finest. How many kills we got? A little bit in cat. Two forty value is not good. Okay, Strelts here getting chewed, real bad. Wait. Oh, there's storm vermin up here. That's why. Ah, that's bad. Okay, get over, get up, get over, move over. Move over, move over. Let's get a heal in. Going? Can I can I get into the back of those storm vermin? Because they're basically gonna route me. Ah, dude. ready. Leadership buffs. I don't know. Oh, they're rapid. Nah, dude. They've. I might have to just redo this. <laughs> they fucking completely ignored this. Came around the side and shit, and uh, and totally fucked my formation. I would have to get a way tighter position held to keep them back. They got too much shit going on. Oh, maybe actually. Maybe we'll route them. Get me close though. That's a clean flank. Yeah, my infantry corps is holding so good. Thank fuck for by our blood. I just get that last heal off. Okay, moment. What did I do, man? Okay, did you see the Kingmaker's official announcement trailer? What looks a bit like an RTSC with a control character third person style? I have not seen that, no. I might look that up. Ooh, clear him, clear him, clear him. Go, go. Take him out. Yeah, that flank fucked me up. Yeah, bit of a Pyrrhic victory, but. Defender of Kislev, Rusina. And by a bit of a Pyrrhic victory, I mean a completely Pyrrhic victory. Ooh, that was storm vermin around here. I want them gone.
You saw the Shadow of the Earth Tree trailer, right? Dude, I was there watching it with all 750,000 people. That was crazy, by the way. If nobody, if you didn't see, there was uh, close to a million people watching the Elden Ring DLC trailer launch on uh, on YouTube yesterday. It was crazy. Dude, look at these kill, dude. Oh my God. You see what I mean by Kislevite Warriors are outperforming? Like, for their price? Do you, they basically held for that entire fight. They're essentially just unbreakable and have unbelievable defensive stats. You see what I mean? 300... I know I'm fighting Skaven, all right? Hands up. I am fighting a lot of Skaven. But 335 kills for Tier 1 Kislevite Warrior Infantry? Crazy. But yeah, I definitely... I, I saw the, I saw the Shadow of the Year tree trailer. I was there with everybody. I was so hyped, dude. Oh, my God. June. Late June, though. So we got a couple of months, which I am both sad about and sort of happy about at the same time, you know? Fight for it gives me plenty of time to play uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, which I definitely want to play in stream, 100%. Very excited for that. Wait, the Replenish Troops thing doesn't stack, right? This doesn't stack. I'm pretty sure it doesn't stack. Correct? Correct the Mundo? Two of these guys is going to be huge, though, because I can get Taurus Battle him. Doesn't stack, correct. Yes. I just want to double check that. That's I know that's been in the game for a long time. I just wanted to double check. Mind by right. Again, all result a pyrrhic again. Dog, come on. That's the problem with taking a f a fat L. In a in a fat L of a win. Restock is OP. I mean, restock's okay. It just you've got to have a really good unit range wise for it to be worth it to, for it to be really effective uh money 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 another is that even seven turns yeah i'm gonna more than be able to afford who the fuck is this riding the riding a big spiky whale in my territory no thank you the wrath of Kislev. Ugh. All right, we'll do one turn, then we'll we'll dive in. Even if battles giving uh, unit ammo back means you lean balance of power more in uh more your way at okay. Yeah, true. I guess if you're just topping off your unit's ammo and shit. The main use I've seen for it. Uh, do you think you're going to do a fresh Elden Ring playthrough when it drops? A fresh Elden Ring playthrough, like create a new character, go through the entire game, and then just, then access the DLC. No. I'm gonna access the DLC on my high level guy. I have a dude at about 130 or 125. Uh, I think he's level 130, but he was 125. I accidentally leveled up and I couldn't handle him being one level above. Whatever, he's like level 130. Um, I don't wanna get too high level though. Um, and I'm worried that the DLC is gonna be roughly like for end game. So it's gonna be like, you know, level 150, 200, but that's fine. I'll I'll, I'll fight an, an uphill battle and get my, my cheeks clapped a little bit. Elden Ring is shit. Oh my god. Cynical wall. You're out of your mind. You're out of your fucking mind. You know what I get from that? You played the Elden Ring. You played the Elden the Elden Ring. You played Elden Ring and got your fucking cheeks clapped, and now you don't like it. That's what it sounds like. That's the that's what I'm getting from this. Get good, sir. Uh some god uh, do we need cossars i kind of want to get actually ambushes and kissel by warriors because the cheapness of kissel by warriors is going to offset how expensive the uh actually ambushes are and also they're new and shiny and i want more of them i need only the best Okay, bullying viewers. You can't say you don't like like that Elden Ring is shit. You can say I don't like Elden Ring, but saying Elden Ring is shit is like being like 
penicillin is cringe, you know? It's just a dumb statement, like, the not surgeon. the case. It's, it's definitely not shit. I played it, got my cheeks clapped, and I fucking hate this game. <laughs> So you so you did you played it. It was really difficult. You didn't like it, or you played it and like you're like these bot their hitboxes are fucking stupid and like you know what do you mean? You can't just dislike it. Penicillin is cringe, Lamont. <laughs> Shut up. You can't. That's not a thing you can say. Penicillin inarguably is a good thing. Popular game bad. Exactly out of Chan. You can't hate a game just because it's popular. What the fuck was that voice? That was, well, my, I don't know. I just did some, I just did like a, a goober voice. Okoye is getting one guide. What are you talking about? What guy? Okoye, I'm a Souls veteran. I think Elden Ring bosses are annoying as shit and broken in comparison to other games. Exploring is amazing though. Eh, okay, here's the thing. You're wrong. <laughs> but no, for real though, uh, I think that some of the bosses are cheap and copy pasted, but a lot of the bosses are awesome. You know, I hate some popular games because I'm a contrarian. I am skeptical about new games. Like I don't like Pal World, Pal World for example. It seems like a gimmicky Pokemon ripoff that has like arc survival kind of like base building. It just seems kind of mid. Um, haven't played it. I've just seen some gameplay of it. Does not seem like my kind of thing. But I'm not going to be out there like, the game fucking sucks. I'm just going to be like, it's not my kind of thing. I don't like it. You know? I don't like it. It's not my thing. I don't like Sekiro. That's always my go-to. Because Sekiro is inarguably a masterpiece. I just don't enjoy it. Edokoi, Elder Ring's World is empty, silent. The game is difficult and you run around for no reason. Dog, my... Oh! Oh, ban him! Oh! How dare you! I've never heard such a bad take. Okay, first of all, the world isn't empty and silent. The world is beautiful and natural. It is also fantastically laid out with incredible enemy density. It is not silent. You, do you have the music turned off? It has great ambient sound design, and the music is awesome, and it's extremely pretty. What are you talking about? The game is difficult. Of course it's difficult! If it wasn't difficult, there'd be no challenge, there'd be no point. The difficulty gives you something to overcome. It's fucking awesome. What do you mean? That's the beautiful thing about Dark Souls, is it's difficult, it gives you a challenge. It's not overtly difficult through the nature of just like, trying to be uh, like as hardcore as possible. It's just difficult because they focus on- chat since YouTube isn't letting me gift memberships. Oh. Penicillin is cringe. <laughs> Thank you, Tomzilla. Penicillin is cringe is such a weird, crazy take. Thank you for the dono, my dude. Penicillin is cringe. Dude, that's a terrible take. The difficulty is one of my favorite things about Elden Ring and Dark Souls, because it actually feels... Uh, the game really makes you feel like Dark Souls. No, it's it's a great game. You, It's inarguably great. You can't say that it, the game isn't inherently good it can be not for you but saying it's not a good game inherently is is a dumb take you know what i mean like there's tons of games that are that are good games that you just don't like you know i don't know i didn't mean to piss you off my boy i just think Elden ring is absolute horseshit that's crazy that's crazy dude you got play it again play it just play it again Really try and absorb it. Once you get over the difficulty curve, dude, you'll start enjoying it more and more. But saying it's a bad game or dog shit is... That's the wrong... I'm not annoyed, by the way. I'm, I'm playing it up a little bit. But... Wait, which is the actual one where you get this, uh... A hero becomes legend. That's gotta be it, right? Win 10 battles with a single hero? No, that's not it. How do you get the quest to... Um... Oh shit, I totally forgot about this. Oh man. I need to stop building those buildings. Ooh. By my command, we march. Elden Ring's a bad game. I tried three times, got my cheese clapped every single time. Dude, that you can't just like a game because it's difficult. That's crazy. You just gotta get better at the game. Also, play it with a controller. If you're struggling with Elden Ring, my number one piece of advice is. Death means nothing. You can always grind more souls. Death means nothing. If you're dying, you're playing the game correctly. Every death, you'll learn something. You'll get better and better. 
You'll slowly improve, you'll learn the movesets of different enemies and bosses. You'll get better and better and better and better. And then by the end of the game, you're just a machine. And you and then when you look back at how bad you were, then when you if you create a new character and you make your way through the game, you'll be like, oh damn, I am so much better. This is like baby mode now. Because you've just gotten better and better and better. And the difficulty bar keeps getting lowered. And then by the time, you know, you're hitting the DLC, you're an absolute champion. I, I, I commend, I would commend you to try, to try again and get good, man, my friend. Are you going to get the mummy vampire in your army too? Oh, the lady? I was actually thinking of not getting her and getting a massive lump sum of money. Okay, bosses are cool as fuck visually, but mechanically you either use summon or magic and completely obliterate them. Or try solo melee... And it's complete torture. There's no in between. I mean, I don't. I could, I'll be honest with you. I did almost all of my Elder Ring playthroughs and completely forgot to use summons. I forgot to use the mimic tears. I forget that they exist because I because I came straight from Dark Souls where you don't have them, and I just forgot they existed and I never used them. Um, so I beat the game either solo or or uh, for some of the duo bosses, I summon people in. Because fighting the, the twin gargoyle boss by yourself sucks ass. Just like any group fight where you're fighting solo. It's just too much. My brain can't handle it. Ooh. Oh, speed 15% campaign movement range. So some bosses I summon people in. Most of them I play. I, I beat them solo with melee. And uh, just using... Also, weapon arts are supposed to be used. That's the point. You know what I mean? That's the, what I love about Little Ring. Is you can have a build that's extremely... Hardcore. You could beat the whole game naked with a broken sword and using a banana as a controller. You know what I mean? Like, there's no... It's entirely what you make of it, which is the beautiful thing about it. You know? It's as difficult... Elder Ring is, is, is as difficult as you let it be. Like, if you... If you're level 10... If you, if you like, you're well, level, like level 30 and you're midway through the game and you just haven't leveled up and you keep spending your, your souls on random shit or dying and then not getting back to your souls and shit, just go grind. Go grind some souls, go, or whatever. Make sure you're leveling up. Make sure you're leveling up your vigor. There's so many tips and ways to make the game easier. If you know what you're doing, Elden Ring is a baby game for babies. It's an easy baby game for little baby children. That's kind of the, the point that I'm at, where the game is not difficult, because I've done it so many times. Okay, I love the game, that uh, and it has all the fun stuff I expect from a Dark Souls and some of their own, but, but Martin did the writing. I hate the writing. <laughs> you hate the... I mean, it's, if you don't... You either like or you don't like George R. R. Martin's writing. It's a lot of incest and weird introspective family weird shit. I'm not, I don't really pay attention to the lore that much. Uh, I just appreciate the game for its visual... How beautiful it is visually and how fun it is to play. I'm not a big... I'm not a huge lore nerd. The lore in Elden Ring is interesting when you start digging into it, though. Same thing with, like, Warhammer and stuff. You start looking into the... Uh, Start looking into Warhammer and actually looking into the lore and shit. So that's some really dope stuff. Are they loyal to the motherland? There's also some so really outdated, Rina. stupid stuff as well in Warhammer, Are but you know, that's that's how it goes. I'm gonna get some cost arts here. Oh wait, ah oh, damn. Two turn global steel. recruitment on actually one fifteen hundred to recruit. Yeah, no, fuck that. I'm gonna go back to my own province and recruit them. Actually, speaking of which, I'm gonna get like one more of these guys, and then I'm gonna bing chilling. Also, I'm gonna. Dip these horse archers, and yeah, less unit variety is good for me because I'm a little chimp-brained ape boy who doesn't know how to multi, uh, who doesn't know how to micro multiple units at once. All right, we'll go back. We'll get ourselves some Exina ambushers. Four turns, we'll be able to build this. So that's so eight turns from now, we'll be able to get our hag, and then I'll be able to build a tier three building to get some other bullshit. Oh, a frostworm. I'll build a uh, cavern of silk, get an animal den, and we'll get a frostworm or two. Frostworms are apparently dog ass, but we'll see. But I think through all of our units will be fun. Ooh, we got an adaman. Atta boy, or Atta man. Wait, 5% free corruption negative. I want growth. There's not a single growth guy. Corruption plus six control is pretty good. Plus three control, plus five. I like this guy's mustache. 
All right, we're taking Mustache Boy. I don't I love the old Warhammer lore. I still feel bad because I got cheated since he lost. I got like some. Yeah, I don't know a lot about the lore. I just like the lore that I've read, um, and I've been meaning to look more into it. But what I need is uh, I need to get recommended like a channel that has really good lore videos that are listed out in like a watchable format for apes like myself. Because I've learned a stuff, a ton of stuff about like serial killers and shit like that from from true crime stuff. Just because there's so many channels that do it in such a watchable format, like Mr. Ballin and Casual Criminalist and all that kind of stuff. Mustache buff? Buff stash? Buff stash is such a good name! Buff stash? <laughs> buff stash? I like that. Loremaster of Celtic lore videos are peak. T true, true. Loremaster makes some really good content. I was watching his stream yesterday. I don't quite. Pancreas uh, network is pretty good for apes like me. Pancreas network? Yeah, I'll look some of these up, probably. I can't believe somebody in my chat doesn't like Elden Ring. How many people- wait, put a- put a one in chat if you don't like Elden Ring. I don't wanna- I don't care if you- if you've- if you've played it, but drop a one in chat if you don't like Elden Ring. Objectively, you do not like the game. You're like, it's not for me, I don't like it, whatever. I'm actually curious. Ones? Oh my god, I'm seeing ones. Really? Oh my god. Minus one? Damn, some of you guys really don't like Elden Ring. That's crazy. Is it just a contrarian popularity thing, or do you just not like third person, like, like, souls likes? That's so interesting. You have a poll function, my dude. I know, but I just wanted to sort of gauge it. I'm not going to put up a fucking poll to find out the, numer the exact numerical amounts of people that don't like Elden Ring. I was just curious, like, how many people roughly in chat don't like it. Oh my god. What kind of reasons, though? I don't like souls in general. Get rid of them? I didn't bother finishing it too busy PvPing. I like Dark Souls, didn't like Elden Ring. Interesting, dude. Elden Ring is stinky. That's not an opinion. Okay, you can't just say it's stinky. You gotta give reasons, dude. Like, even like, I don't like Souls likes. I don't like the format. I don't like how difficult it is. I'm more of a casual gamer. Uh, I still breastfeed. You know, that kind of stuff. Those reasons are, you know, normal stuff that I expect from people that don't like Souls likes. You know? It's objectively good, but man, enjoyed the Souls games much more. That's exactly how I feel about, um, that's exactly like, oh no. Oh no, no, don't declare war. Oh, nice. Oh, dude, yes. Techless, you bug-eyed freak. Yes. Okay, can't understand that Elden Ring is bad. Lord, you're literally called Lord Solaire. You're out of your mind, dude. Elden Ring is a fantastic game. I just want it to be edgy, so I wrote one. See, that's... Okay, that's... What I was going to say is that's how I feel about Sekiro. Sekiro, inarguably, great game. I don't like it. It's extremely linear. You... Fuck! No, 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 no. Fuck you, rats. Where'd this guy fucking come from? Fuck! Fuck! When did that happen? How did this happen? Fucking fuck, dude. Oh, that's so annoying, my growth and everything. Ah! Wait, that wasn't my capital, though. At least. At the very least, that wasn't my capital, but fuck, that's annoying, dude. Oh, uh, you know, hold on. No, wait, I gotta go back. I gotta go back because I realized I forgot to march stance. I need to march stance to get closer, otherwise I'm gonna lose all my settlements. Fuck! I love Bloodborne, but not Elden Ring. Everybody has their own thing. I like all of them. I like Dark Souls, I like Elden Ring, I like Bloodborne, I like all of them. I just didn't like Sekiro because there's no build variety. You just have to play as Edgelord Katana guy. And that just, I just don't like doing that. I didn't, it just wasn't my thing. I feel like Sekiro is the fairest of them all, bro. Uh, BO bullshit spells or weapon arts or summons, just patent recognition and reflexes. Exactly. I'm not a big fan of the way that it works, where it, you, it's, uh, it's one of those games where it's like, you have to play it like this. The same reason I don't like, uh, like, um, I don't like, uh, God of War. I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the way God of War plays specifically, and if you don't want to play it like that, there's not a lot of build variety. If you don't want to be Kratos with X, then you're doomed. You know what I mean? It's linear. I like the creative freedom that uh, that you get playing, um, you know, Elden Ring or Dark Souls or Bloodborne. You got full build variety. I love it. Elden Ring is fine. I sure feel like it took a direction that really advanced the game formula. Overall, just let's do open world and get popular writers for us. What? Dude, 
Hell no. It, it, the, okay, here's the thing though. It has one of the most fun to explore open worlds I've ever seen in in uh, like an open world game. You know what I mean? It, it's just, it's literally just Dark Souls, but with more freedom. It's less linear. It still has all the build variety. It has custom weapon ashes that you can put on different weapons. There's, there's, and they brought back power stancing. There's, it. I, you're out of your mind. Elden Ring is a fucking masterpiece. There's no way. If you were a fan of Souls likes and you don't like Elden Ring, I don't understand. If you don't like uh, uh, like Souls likes at all, and you just don't like that kind of thing in general, but if you're a fan of Souls likes and you don't like Elden Ring, I don't understand. But I know tons of people who it didn't hook. I don't quite. If it's so good, why aren't you playing it? Because I have hundreds of hours in it, and also the multiplayer community has, has fallen off, so it's impossible to get invasions, Commander and also extremely difficult to get summons reliably. For the glory of wait, they didn't attack my settlement. Where are they then? Oh wait, are they in the Phoenix Gate? Maybe that's what's happening. They didn't attack my shit this time. Shrine of Kurnos. Okay, so I would have lost just like... What is... Karzmak. Maz? Karzmaz? I feel like I'm having a stroke saying that, dude. I lead, you follow. Okay, blind lol? It's not... This isn't the army. Are you talking about this? this? That's not their army. Their army must be in the Phoenix Gate because there's nowhere else it could have been. It probably was in the Phoenix Gate and then ran over to... Are they over here? Oh, they own Torosarior. Maybe they did an, an through the mountains type type deal. Rosina, ready. Hmm. My choices right. are not personal. Nineteen hundred though, three K. We're getting these for seven twenty a unit. So one so we get like what? Five of these, two Streltsy. I'll keep Okay, do I ditch the war sleds for more Akshinas or do I keep the war sleds? What do you guys think? Bear in mind, it's my ability to micro them. <laughs> so, think about it. What do you What do you think? Do I drop the light war sleds and take more Akshinas? Keep them? Really? They're, I know they're good. I'm just, they require micro to be good. Bear in mind. Oh, bear in mind. Uh, I see. I see. Good shit. When's the next BG3 stream? Uh, I'm thinking of doing a another Sans run or maybe a randomizer. Uh, post like get past the ship, then do a randomizer like I talked about. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Cause I'm doing. I'm dealing with a lot of stuff right now, so it's but yeah. Action accuracy got a pretty solid nerf. Just get Akshinas, your, just get Akshinas, your micro is garbage. <laughs> yeah, good point. Your That's... destiny rests on the axe edge. Chariots really do need babysitting though. Respect you know? They absolutely do. Also, I can't talk and try and entertain, or talk and read chat and do stuff while simultaneously trying to do effective micro. I just can't do it. I don't quite, I love Souls games, but I feel like the bosses in Elden Ring were a step down from stuff like Gale, my dear Lothric Pontificatoris. Okay, here's the thing though. There's also some very good bosses sprinkled in. Uh, inarguably, Margit, Horolu, uh, a lot of bosses are very good. Rikard is visually beautiful. Um, the only problem is he's a bit of a gimmick boss, but there's but bear in mind, you're forgetting how many bad bosses were in Dark Souls, you know what I mean? Especially Dark Souls 2. Think about all the throwaway bosses in Dark Souls 2. Every Souls game has bad bosses. They can't all be winners. Nobody remembers any of the bad bosses. Like, when they're comparing it to Elden Ring. The difference is Elden Ring has a shit ton of good bosses, but also some bad bosses because the game's massive. Of course they're gonna have copy-paste and, and losses and shit like that. But Dark Souls was like one-fifth the size of Elden Ring, and it still had throwaway shitty copy-paste bosses, you know what I mean? Like, I disagree. I think both games... The only difference is Elden Ring's bigger, has more freedom, has everything from... Like, all of the the Souls games, Bloodborne, and everything combined into one perfect, like, near-perfect uh, open-world exploration uh, Souls game. It's perfect for me. It's exactly what I, what I want. Okay, you do stream once a month, lol? Beca I literally can't stream because I'm busy. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not saying I'm busy doing streams and doing content and shit. I'm saying I'm busy with, real li with like, other stuff in my life right now. I would be streaming like once I'm set up at my new house and uh, I'll, I got, I'm dealing with a lot of random shit right now I can't talk about but 
yeah when, when all that's sorted out i'll be streaming more more frequently and hopefully i'll be putting out videos again more frequently it's it's been a wild couple of months Ooh, wait minus 35 oh dude Oh, that's so good. Minus 35% construction time. That's going to offset the uh, the unpleasant climate by like 30%. Oh, yes. Thank you, dude. That's huge. This is huge. This is so huge. Uh, I don't know. Guns corruption. Fuck it. Whatever. All right. We got to get rid of these stinky little rats. These rats. Oh, don't like that. Don't like that at all. Negative 20 growth. Do you really get negative 20 growth from... No. Where's that negative 20 growth coming from? The rat in my territory? Growth minus 10 in raided provinces. Ugh. Stinky. Stream your life, Okoy? <laughs> I've thought about doing some real life stuff. If I even do like a face reveal, I might just start doing a little bit more... Uh, obviously, I'll have, like, a visual camera on for, like, you know, uh, I, I, like, prefer streams when they have a cam. I just do. It, it's more interactive and shit. Um, I just haven't done a, a uh, I, I just, I, I, I value, I'm in a weird balance where I value my an anonymity. I don't care about being physically famous. I'm also extremely socially awkward in real life. And the idea of being recognized by somebody, even for a second, would, would freak me out because I'm I'm terrible Phys like if somebody was like hey you're are you the guy from that thing like one dude maybe oh, will recognize me it like because of the micro 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 cosm of tiny fame that comes with the channel if, if my face is attached to it would be that I just can't handle the being recognized in public by one by the one person that it'll eventually happen with Oh, 6,500 for this? Fuck you, dude. All right, I'll stop building this so we can get an ice worm at least. And then I'll build... Can I get money out of anyone? Please, dude. Oh. Sterling. Sterling? But yeah, I was thinking of doing, like, cooking streams. That kind of shit. Or like we're I was thinking of doing a video where I I wanted to do a video so long ago where I made I tried to make a real version of Grom's food You know I like picturing uh, Okoy as his thumbnail don't ruin the mystique. It's not really I mean I do look a lot more like my image now because I cut my hair I, I just have like normal ass short mid-length hair now all right, time to fuck the Phoenix gay dude. Centigore milk? Oh my god. Imagine if... <laughs> oh my god, the auto strength. Are you kidding me? I just got Blessed Heart of the Old Blast too? Wait, isn't that the armor, the new armor piece? It is. This is new. This is new. Blessed Helm of the Old Blast. 60 armor, 20% uh, weapons. Oh, wait, that might not be new. It's just tied to him at the custom battle section. Rampager standard. Nice, dude. Fuck yes. All right, I'm going to get firing drills. Yes. Okay, we'll just max out firing drills. Although, Draftmaster... Okay, this would have been useful before. Okay, Quartermaster, actually. The more money we get, the better right now. Let's just handle the old blasts. I got a horse. Do I want a horse? Are they loyal to the motherland? Uh... Fucking... Okay. Defender of Kislev. Loyalty, bravery, and cold steel. Loyalty, bravery, and cold cuts. Uh, Aloko, give a Sensigore milking stream. Ew! As is my right. <laughs> Ew. No. <laughs> that, I mean, that would be a really hilarious cooking stream, though, if I just made a glass of Sensigore milk. I just poured a glass of milk and was like, alright, guys, good video. <laughs> Goodbye. I'd watch that. Only the bravest are required. I don't care. The Grom food in real life sounds like a fun idea. I would enjoy this. Yeah. But, you know, it's it's still in the cards. Down the line. Way down the line. Ogre VTuber Ock when? I actually wanted to do... Look, I looked into Ogre VTuber stuff. Or Warhammer, I wanted to just do regular Warhammer VTuber stuff, like just as a joke in the bottom left. 
uh, would just be like a little tracked version of the Lord that I'm playing. Uh, but the it <laughs> dude, VTubers are expensive. I don't know if you've ever looked into it um, or know about it. VTubers like a good VTuber model for like actual VTubers when they do all the weeb stuff is like thousands of dollars. You know, they are people spend so much money on those fucking things. It is nuts. Dude, how have the rats taken over so much territory? Cruelty and violence. How do Karen Carr feel again? Oh, very unfriendly war with clan cry uh, with clan cringe. Okay, they don't like us at all. Let's fund a VTuber rig Lamount. Dude, now, if we're, if we're not, if I'm gonna crowdfund, it'll be for something important. It's not gonna be for a fucking ogre VTuber model. There's no way. Uh oh. Oh. Cool, yeah, nice. Nice, the Jade Chad. And they make thousands of dollars off the weebs. Imagine the weeb money that would flow in. <laughs> Okay, what's your VTuber handle gonna be? I- no, th this is what I'm talking- I wouldn't be a VTuber. I would just have a little ogre guy in the bottom left who- who moves when I move. You know? Which I think is a- honestly a better use than it- than- for it- than the weeb stuff, in my opinion. Just get a real ogre to pose. <laughs> I'll just- I'll tell you what, a better idea. I'll just do- use a webcam and I'll just gain like 800 pounds and cosplay as a- as a, an ogre. I don't, I don't lie, you'd like the technical issues, Ogre, as a VTuber avatar? This guy? Yeah, my girlfriend drew that. I'm starting a rumor you're becoming a VTuber. Do not spread lies about me becoming a VTuber. That is... I, I still... I still can't help but find VTubers a little cringy. I just can't help it. I mean, the, the ones that put on fake voices and stuff, you know, you know the ones. Fight for Kisler. A worthy gimme, 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 gimme. More territory for me. Ooh, the brawler of version. Uh, just for flavor, why? I feel like I could just replace one of the, one of the ambushers. Although... Probably be a lot smarter to replace one of these Champion infantry of the lines. Guardian of the land. Man. I need only the best. We're getting swole. Oh, here we go. Warriors. Speaks. I speak for the trees. Uh, I don't have a witch yet, so that's pointless. Let's just keep getting quartermaster. Keep getting cheaper. More power. money per turn. Are they loyal to the motherland? Hmm. Trained by the white. All right, wife. Oh, Shab. Okay. Oh my God, uninhabitable. Is this all uninhabitable? No, it's just the gay veil. Gay veil. What if I give this away for massive diplomatic gain? That sounds cool. I could just give this to the Order of the Lore Masters. Oh, look, it's. Wurzag. God damn, Wurzag's with the Wogs. Or, <laughs> dude, Greenskins are so strong. The Wogs are nuts. Dealing with Scarsnick on my Old Realms Chaos Dwarf campaign that I was playing was a pain in the ass. He's so strong. I don't even know what- No, I'm saving money, saving money, saving money. Actually, if you looked into PNG tubers, it's much cheaper Due to the PNG, uh, using a PNG instead of an actual rig. Uh, I have barely looked into it. I just know that it's very expensive. And it's like, for a gimmicky little clip guy, I'm, you know what I mean? Like, I'm a gimmicky little VTuber. No, I, I don't feel like it's worth it. Oh, did they just attack my shit? Get these rats out of my house. You beat orcs with spellcasters? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm trying to get uh, a hag. Ooh, shit, dude. We're getting some good stuff, though. Uh, Jade. Oh, wait. Is that for something we can use? Things in the woods. Nope. Nope. 
Nope. Nope. Nope. Nope. Wait, local con uh, recruitment capacity. Oh, oh, when fighting chaos. So yeah, we'll get Streltsy Arsenal and improve lookouts. Why not? Punish Kislev's foes with it. Uh, all right. We'll take Tors Saror. You will fall. And then they should be dead, I think. Nice military building. All right, perfect. So here's what we do. We ally with the dork. So here we go. Trade settlement. And then we trade Taurus. Oh, I can't. I'm going to have to give him Evershale. And he's like, oh, shit. Defensive alliance. Oh, shit. Military access. Don't mind if I do. And 2,700 gold. Sounds good. Defensive alliance with Teclas, it is. Thank you, you bug-eyed weirdo. And then Taurus Soror, which has a military building in it. And you, you saw how much the last one was worth. 37. So, oh wait, minus 63? Why? 160? That's not even worth it. I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this, you cheap, elvish piece of crap. The military building usually jacks up the amount of stuff. Oh, wait, what if I give Taurus Sorauer to this guy? How much would you give me for Taurus Sorauer? Uh, he's probably gonna die though, cause he's got, he's got a, uh, he's got old orc face coming for him. What a, so we could get a defensive alliance, or maybe a trade, just a trade agreement, and non-aggression pact, and then also eighteen hundred, and then they take Torsur. Wait, actually, you know, I'll just like Teclas build up some money, and then I'll give him the stuff. Goddamn knife ears. That's my exact thoughts almost every time I'm playing on the donut. Do you think anybody out there gets actually offended by fictional racism? Like, do you think there's actually dudes out there and, and ladies that are... that get really tilted when people say knife ears? Yes, they get offended. Who? You know what? You know who it'll be as well? It'll be white people moonlighting and getting offended on behalf of races that they don't belong to like they usually do. So it'll be <laughs> like, how dare you make fun of the noble knife ears? Actually, it'll be dorks. It'll actually just be dorks. Like nerds. Sensitive nerds. What's the uh, capital for... Evan Tor Elier? Tor Elier, Tor Enrock. Oh, it'll be. Oh my god, dude. Oh! Tor Enrock is the capital, right? So we'll build a capital. Uh, a thing. And then we can recruit crazy oh, units. Damn, dude. Alright, we'll wipe the rats out the next and forest. then go from there. Only leaf lovers would be offended. Veg vegans be offended. If you make fun of the wood elves, vegans just don't. You'll never live it down. Join war against the Karen Carr. Who are they? Where Where are they, I mean? Karen Carr. They own a single gate neighboring my territory. You want to give me 100 gold for them to start taking my shit off me? How about you suck my giant Russian cock? Pretty sure what else eat meat? They literally only eat meat. That's the funniest thing about that the meat the, the meat calling them vegans is that they are hunters and they like only eat meat. <laughs> They're like the most carnivore race in the game. Elder Scrolls what else are exclusively meat is a lot. Is that what I'm thinking of? The Bosmer? I've never played a Bosmer in Elder Scrolls ever. I think I've exclusively played orcs. Uh Guys, do you know what? You, okay, I looked this up. It's really funny. Um, this is so funny to me. And, and also, and also, is this racist? Uh, do you know what the least popular race is in Skyrim? And in, in the Elder Scrolls in general? Because I thought it would be High Elves. 
Not the case. It's Red Guard. <laughs> Red Guards are the least popular race in Skyrim. Why? They're just dudes. And they have really good racial traits. Orcs are not the least popular. Red Guards are the least popular. Orcs are also unpopular, I will say. But a po I looked at multiple polls. Red Guards are at the bottom for no reason. They have great. That's surprising, right? Skyrim, the least popular ones in Skyrim are Red Guards. And it's by a good amount. It was like 0.5% of the people that took this poll played Red Guards. Orcs have S tier racial traits. Red Guards are the most boring race. That's not true at all. Their homeland is dope. Like, they, they have like Alakir swordsmen and shit. Guess what the most popular three races are? Because I was surprised. Oh, guess what the top two are? Because it's pretty close. In, in Skyrim alone, guess what the top two races are? The number one is obvious. Dark Elves? The hell? No. Khajiit and Nord. Yeah, that guy's right. It, it's Nord is number one, followed by Khajiit. I had no idea Khajiits were so popular. I love that they speak in the third person. They're the most charming race in like the entire game. Also, Argonians are super underrated and dope as hell. But I did not expect... Uh, I did not expect Khajiit to be so popular. Who the fuck plays Khajiit? Uh, exactly! I thought they would be ruined by furries. Maybe it's like... You know, all of the, uh... Khajiit has wears if you have coin memes and shit. Like, they're a very meme race. Can't be cool. I like them. I think they're cool. I like, uh, the Lizard Man as well. Also, I'm trying to take power away from furries. Can we just take all of the power back from furries, please? Can we, can, can, like, please can animal versions, like humanoid animals, be cool again and not just furries, please? Can I, can I like worgens in World of Warcraft and think werewolves are cool and like werebears in D Diablo and shit like that. Can I think they're cool without people calling me a furry, please? Because, because God damn it, dude. Furries have taken cool, fictional, jacked, humanoid animal creatures and ruined them. I can't like Argonians without being called a fucking scaly. Which is apparently a furry, but with lizard creatures. I was horrified to find out. No? Why? Give me back my cool creatures. Stop making them look humanoid? What? I like them when they're full bestial. That's a good point. I feel you, buddy. It fucking sucks. Thank you. The Kumas have taken over the internet. Yeah, I mean, you know how you can tell the Kumas have taken over the internet? Look at the fucking Skyrim Nexus. It's nothing but boob mods. If you filter, there's like hundreds of thousands of mods on the Skyrim Nexus. Filter it by, filter out the adult mods. There's like two. There's like three mods. And two of them need updating. Oh, get absolutely clapped. I'm so happy I, I kept that building. Not gonna lie, I tried to play Warhammer multiplayer match with friends. I picked Beastman and my friends called me a furry. Exactly! But you can't even play Beastman without people calling you furry. I can't think Minotaurs are cool without people saying the, you'd be calling you a furry. That sucks. We, like, we need to take the power back from furries, okay? We need to say no furries. You don't get you don't get the ownership of all animal stuff. That's bullshit. How do you define furries? Uh, weird, like, very humanoid looking, uh, and gross. Usually, it's, usually they're sexual in nature as well. I thought furries entirely was a, just a sexual thing. Apparently not. Apparently they're like, an actual full thing. Who knew? I'll take a full military alliance for Torsarior. It's like a whole ass community thing. It's not just weird porn. Not the case. Furries need to go? Thank you, dude. Okay, furries are fine. They can exist in their own microcosm of weird internet shit. Like everybody else can. You know what I mean? 
I'm not gonna yuck your yums. You can like whatever you want. I don't give a shit. Just stop comparing me to it when I think that Minotaurs are dope as hell. It's not fair, man. Like, okay, think about this. As soon as the, like, skin wolves, for example. I can't like, I can't think Norskin skin wolves are cool. Or Norskin skin wolf, werekin, whatever the fuck they're called. The ones, uh, the skin wolf, like, heroes. Minotaurs are lame. Cynical! Stop having bad takes! Elden Ring is bad. Minotaurs are lame. What are you talking about? Get out of here. These are bad. Stop. What, what's happening with the bad takes, man? I've never seen so many bad takes from a single person. This is nuts. Yes. Greetings on behalf of the Empire. This is an unacceptable amount of bad takes. I'm not paying six fucking grand. These uh, these bad takes are unprecedented. Cynical hates Greek mythology. Who hates Greek mythology? If you like Minotaurs, you are not a furry. You are an ancient Greek connoisseur. <laughs> exactly. I can't think Torox the Brass Bull is an absolute chad without somebody thinking that, I, that I'm a fucking furry. Unfair. Unfair and unjust. Ooh, alright, I'm just gonna take the auto on this. I kinda wanna to. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is this? What it- Why is this- Look how fucking tiny, dude. That horse looks under this giant man. You know what I mean? I hate horse- I don't like horses on Footlords for human factions. If I had a Chaos Steed, like the Chaos Factions, totally cool. This- this- this crap, not so much. Noble of the oh, Ogros. Veneration of the Bear. Oh yeah, these ones suck. Alright, Quartermaster for the third one, and then BAM! Back up to 1300 with a powerful army. Uh... Nice. Alright, and now we can give away... Excellent. Gay and the Gay Veil because it- oh wait, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute, dude. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm a st actual child. Uh, you know what? I'm going to build a military building. Oh my god, that's so expensive, dude. Holy shit. Is that even worth it? Uh, 1,125 gold in two turns in order for this to count for way more. It's not worth it, right? You can just take the gay veil. Yeah, still 19, and then I get... No. All right, we're going to wait a turn anyway. <laughs> One gold! One gold! I'm just gonna let make him like me. Why not? One gold. All right. Uh, one more turn until we can get our hero, and then three more turns until we can get a our frost boy. And nice, dude. Wait, four more turns, and then I can get. I can upgrade to a city. Turn twenty-one. We're about to get a hag, a hag of hags. We're gonna get a frost boy, frost snake, cat, cat, frost snake lizard. They're based off Cossack horses, uh, which were more slender. Also, big horses usually are slower. Okay, but no, no, that's not my... Uh, my point is, a man, a seven-foot-tall Russian man is not going to ride a pony. You know what I mean? Give me that Skyrim horse at the very least. You know what horses are absolutely the coolest shit ever? Um, what are they called? Uh... Ardenese horses. You know the ones that are like, like the, the the ones from the Dutch have, and like the Netherlands and stuff. These giant war horses that are like, literally like six feet tall at their back, and they're built like brick shit houses. They're so, they're like giant buff horses. I want more of those. Those are cool as hell. Big jacked Russian horses. You know what's really annoying? They added in a really cool horse model for um, b but it's pulling Katarin's uh chariot. Katarin's chariot is pulled by giant buff white horses. Deleted. Goodbye rats. Goodbye forever rats. L rat moment. 
actual L rant moment. Oh my god, so much stuff. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. And we got a war bear for our boys. All right, I'm gonna... I don't care how bad it is. I'm taking off his horse. And we got some armor. Nice. Kislev is triumphant. Kislev. Oh, we got our... Nice. Man of the people, man of the land. Ambusher. <laughs> man. <laughs> I accept the people's the elbow. Okay, probably one of the uh, superbred Arabian war steeds in origin. Those were all the rage for European nobles in the medieval days. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big, big, cool war horses, dude. Those are cool. Those are the kind of horses I think are awesome. The ones that have big furry legs and are like, like big, big, jacked, fucking dope ass, like power war horses and stuff. Those are cool. I just, I'm not a fan of like the little horses, especially on big dudes. Big seven foot Russian men riding around tiny little horses. Alright, we're gonna have to ride we back, march. I think. Oh, where's Zag's gonna be a pain to deal with? We're kind of. Are we on good terms with these guys? 35 in improving treaties plus military, act military actions. Ag military actions against Krakadrak? Oh, wait, that's. Ah. <laughs> that was where's Zag? <laughs> Oops. Yeah, he really doesn't like us a lot. He really kind of doesn't like us a little bit. He really hates that uh, we are friendly with the elf, with the bug-eyed elf guy. Um, oh man. Maybe we give this territory away. We abandon the southern, we go up here, we wipe out the orcs over here, try and make treaties with the Chaos Dwarves maybe, make our way down here and then take Lothurn and then kind of occupy this territory from behind and try and ally with the Cross Club Ogres. Can I ally with these guys yet? Is he in? Is he in? No, he doesn't like me. Oh, he, that's gonna be impossible because he hates the elves. Okay, Radon had the best horse lol. Oh, dude. <laughs> I love. Okay, but his little. What's his horse called again? It's called like Terence or Bill or something like that. It's got like a really pedestrian name and it makes me laugh every time. Rupert. Something like that. It's got like a weird, just human name. I like his horse. I think it adds uh, a little bit of levity to that character, so he's not just some giant edgelord guy. Le Leonard! It's called Leonard! I love that. It's so cute, dude. Leonard is the best horse. Hero recruitment plus two from Frostmate is useless. Hero recruitment extra cuts for Patriarchs. I'll take that. Why not? All right. Beeline back. We're getting stacks. Stacks on stacks on stacks. Oh, I can recruit my hero. Let's go. All right. Hag Witch of Hag. Ugh. Knowledgeable character experience 15% or speed. Ooh, which one do you guys think? 15% experience or speed? I kind of. Oh my god, that name, dude. What is that name? What? Ev. Evdokia von Nimirowicz Sizit. Are you kidding me with that name? Speed? Fleet footed? Yeah, I guess the experience is just kind of pointless. Also, she's bald, which is funnier. Look at that hairline, dude. <laughs> what a hairline. Arena knife on the bitch. Why all the Ivan names? I see you kind of make it up. Arena Ivani Ivanovich. What a name, dude. Alright, Fate of the Interlopers. Alright, so we got Witch's Brew, which uh, I think was an ability already, but it was like a consumable ability or something. Uh, and then it's like a tear-shaped attack. Breath spell. Oh yeah, look, check this out, look. So it's, it, uh, it's a breath spell that heals. And also apply, yeah, it applies 0.60% healing. Expanding tier shaped attack, strong versus multiple combatants, affects grounded units. I don't think it affects enemies too. I hope it does, because then you'll be able to accidentally heal people. Okay, why did you recruit your mother? You leave my mother out of this, dude. 
She is a saint. Uh, spell resistance twenty percent. Enemy. That's interesting. Reduces enemy leadership while giving you spell resistance. Interesting. Forbidden fans. Uh, moderate stationary area. Ah, oh, I love stationary area. Oh wait, it doesn't do damage though. Just a debuff. Large debuff area. Curse of the ancient witch. Affects five enemy units in range and reduces missile block chance and armor. Oh, dude, that's a big debuff. Minus 48 missile block chance and minus 60 armor. You could shred with that. And then Vengeance and Spirits. This is what I kind of what I, I would prefer to get. It silences enemies and does damage over time. Malediction of Man, Curse Cauldron. This, okay. Causes major magical damage, medium strike air, strong versus single unit, good versus armor. So this is obviously meant to delete, like, key units. 18 wins of magic? This better hit like a truck, dude. Max Liam, are you bringing them all back for PB? I am, yeah. I'm thinking of uh, streaming it, too. If people don't know what PB is, basically, uh, if you've ever heard of uh, Persistent Empires for Bannerlord, it's like a, a multiplayer game mode for uh, Mountain Blade Bannerlord, but it's like a big, open, persistent world. Uh, but the way that it was hosted, it was just sort of like a gate-kept, clan, toxic kind of environment, and it wasn't a lot of fun. Um, but uh, a bunch of dudes have made a new version of it, basically. Fixed all the issues that the other thing had, have way more mod, uh, and way, uh, way better admins and way more it's it's just really good so we're gonna be playing so i'm thinking of uh streaming that again because it's it's gonna like if it's better than pe i'm gonna be streaming that again so we can make a player faction in in uh, pp instead should be a lot of fun it's looking awesome dude so if you're if you've ever wanted to be part of a giant player faction in a persistent player driven world in banner lord then uh Join my faction PB and we will uh, get into some fun fights like making chariots where we uh, get a bunch of horses, tie some carts to them, all jump in the back with guns and uh, or bows or whatever, like flintlock uh, hand cannons. And we can we can literally make uh, empire gun carriages in, uh, in Persistent Battle. It'll be so fun. Overcasts of the spells are for your own troops and stuff. Ah, oh, okay. Upgrade? Upgrade what? Ooh, I'm gonna upgrade this just in case. No, I'm gonna save my money, actually. Alright, wait. My building? Nice. We'll give him the gay veil. 52, 2100? Why not? He's gonna love us, dude. 195. Okay. Well, Teclas and uh, Kassal are going to make out, probably. Ready. That's what it looks like it's shaping up to be. Follow my lead. I think six units of these guys is fine. More spares this decision. Oops. Leader of Kislev's warriors. Berg. Get our lady in. Nice. Oh, wait, I forgot that they were on a cot. Are they always on a cot? That's actually pretty dope. Yeah, 102 speed always, right from the get-go. It's kind of crazy that they just start on a sleigh. Slay dirge. 20% weapon strength, 30... Oh, but that locks all of these other ones out? 50% duration for hex spells. Stalk for monstrous units and beasts. Toughness enables ma enables magical attacks for the Lord. Character experience gain for the Lord. Ability uses for potion of toughness, and they get potion of toughness. So a bunch of healing and regen and, the, and buffs for our big Chad. Pretty cool. I need only the best. Latecomer, why okay moves Elves land. Uh, all the factions are randomized. So there's ogres in the donut. Uh, Wurzag, the the, uh, the great green prophet, is here. Um, Teclas is up in the donut. Ironically, uh, an elf still ended up in the donut and doing really well. Uh, there's like the Chaos Dwarves over here. Um, oh, the Oracles of Sintra are here in Bordelow. So we're going to come back up, recruit some shit, and then start taking out this whole area. But yeah, all the factions are randomized.
All right. How, many, how long it's like? All right, one more turn, we get a frost worm. I'm gonna delete some of you guys so I get some income. What do I delete? Uh, two fucking two frost worms. Why not? Commander of the soldiery. And then. That's it. That's it for new units, right? I might. I tell you what. I might delete the silent grove. I need to delete something so I can build the uh, royal barracks because that's how you get. Uh, I think that's how you get the quest. Wait. How do I get uh, the golden knight? Because normally you get a quest and it tells you what to do. A land where nothing grows. Don't bully the mutinous the gits. Land. What do you mean bully the mutinous gits? You mean these? They're mutinous gits. What do you? What do you want from me? We demand due respect. Minus fifteen corruption. Why does the area that? I guess because it's designed to hold the sort of cane. That's why. Negative 15 corruption. Recruit round plus one all provinces. Okay, that's kind of worth it. 10 turns! <laughs> Fucking yikes, dude. Alright. Okay, have you renamed your faction yet? No, I have not. What would I rename them? We're still, uh... Whatever consultant's faction is called. I think Great Book of Grudges said you get the quest at level 12. Oh, are we not level 12 yet? I feel like we're definitely level 12. Eradication. Oh, I'm going Kinder. Ooh. I bet they can offer me more money. Always. Oh, they always lowball you just a tiny bit. Renamed to the Soviet Union? Huh. Maybe. Worthless land of sand and heat. Wait, it recruit a character train. That's not it. Does anybody know what the actual? Okay, we're level twelve. Oh wait, I think he said. I think, I think I've heard. Uh, you have to get level thirteen. I think you have to get level. You have to get to level thirteen. Is Constantin level 12? Constantin's level 1. <laughs> so no. So no, dude. Alright. Uh, time to recruit Frost. One turn recruitment on these? Whoa. They're only a tier 3 unit, but they have some pretty cool animations. I'm pretty sure they're a reskin Salamander. I'm not pretty sure. I'm, I'm, I, like, I am positive that it's a... A reskin salamander Are unit, but still. The what the fuck? What? Come, sing, dance, oh sing. fuck! I was still in March dance. F fuck! Oh god damn it, dude! And cold steel. Oh, it's so annoying. Where's the chat sound mod? Okoy, I know I should have recruited. I, I was thinking I was gonna be playing as uh, Katarin, and then I realized that Constellan's kind of a better pick for this. Russia's greatest love machine. Coco Constantine. This dude's name is Ivan Ivanovich Ivanov. Yeah. Cynical, were you not here for that? You Elden Ring hating son of a bitch. What about Boris? Boris was okay. Most of his stuff is based around like bears or anti chaos stuff, and we're not really going to be fighting much chaos. Considering all the factions are randomized. And okay, but Katarin's new mount though. Yeah, I, I, it's fine. It's okay. It's against light infantry, it's phenomenal. But by the time you get it, you're going to be facing a lot of different types of units. The people are Ill -treated. Akbar the Man Ripper. As is my right. Okay, well that wasn't even English. Only the bravest are required. This nerd speaking... A different language. Would three would getting three frostworms be unreasonable? They are pretty cool and frosty. 
I'm tempted. Hmm. Your destiny rests on we the three of them. Earth. Fuck it. Frost worm stacks. Worms on worms on worms. Our loyalty goes unrewarded. Oop. Are they at war? They've got to be at war. No, they're not. Okay. Kislev's defense is my solemn duty. Could just confederate her? Uh, yeah, I don't think that. I don't know if we're going to be going on long enough to confederate. I need only the best. Especially considering we don't know where she is. Bear in mind, it's randomized. So she is here. In she's actually not that far away. She's holding it down, basically where what Nuln? Nuln and Solon or whatever, where uh, she's hanging out with um, where Gold Gold Mask Boy usually is. Camry. Yeah, why not? Did you just say look at my dick in in Tomb King? Marvel at my pyramid. Rosina <laughs> stand ready. What are these weird units? What mods are you using, Okoy? Are you serious? This is the this is the free content added in to, to Shadows of Change. If you own Shadows of Change, you get a ton of new, uh, new units. Well, not a ton. You get like three extra new units per faction. A bunch of uh, units that are also mounts, like um the Moonbird. Oh my God, it's Throg! What's the troll man doing here? She so, changes faction to the Soviet Union. All right, why not? By our blood, is Kislev kept safe? Uh, yeah, we need one more level up, I think. Look at these worms. The are the protectors. Uh, how do you change your? Ah, oh, there we go. What are we called right now? The Great Orthodoxy. How about the Great Unorthodoxy? That's a nice PG joke. Wait, un unorthodoxy. Eh? The great peasantry. I still want to play as the peasant guys in that uh that other map. Country. I like the unorthodoxy. All right, let's kill some. Ooh, Mengil Manhide. Who's Mengil Manhide? Mengil's Man Flares. We must protect nature. Is he actually a dude in the lore, or is this just a made-up rogue army? Ooh. Who's Throg at war with? All right, dude. All right, we can make it. Fuck it. George. Most Throgamis are guys in the lore, yeah. Okay, yeah. Great charge bonus. Charge bonus would be good on... The heck? I'm not gonna have a charge in the melee. We'll put on this guy. 79 charge bonus. Is there any reason to play this? I kind of want to see these new units though. I show off the frost worms and stuff. Is this a siege? Nah, no, fuck it. Why not? We'll show off the frost worms for anybody that hasn't seen them. They're good little guys. Also, this patch is out now, by the way. It came out today at like 3 UK time. The little ape man and his variations always make me happy. You mean the monka? Monkey? This little monkey? This one's a uh, Dragina monkey made by Dr. Plague. Oh shit, oh fuck. Alright, man this game's pretty. Look at these big frosty motherfuckers. Pretty cool. Pretty big dudes. 
Yeah, but if you look at their posture, uh, they're I, they're basically a salamander reskinned. They have some good. They have some new animations. Though. They're not just. They're not just a reskin. They are good boys. They are indeed good boys. Uh. Uh. All right. All right. Man, there's a lot of trees here. Uh, all right, we got our peasant peasant boys up front. We're up at double silver rank, 49 mail, uh, melee defense. Right. Frosties, God, the models can get so close. I think it's because their entity size is based on the uh, salamander or something. I feel like there's always like a weird gap in between them normally. Damn, they, they actually do look pretty good. What do they do again? They've got, yeah, Calls Terror. They're good armor piercing. Calls Frostbite. Decent melee attack. Scaly skin for missile resistance. A pretty affordable mid tier monstrous unit for Kislev, to be honest. Like, we're on, we're on turn like 25 and I got three of these things. Fury of the Land. Wait, where, where do I have Fury of the Land from? Because that's not a spell. Magical attack Strider can cause fear effects allies. 35. Is Fury of the Land just a, a witch thing? Frostworm stack? I don't know. I, they don't really get enough buffs and, and stuff. Wait. Shit, reinforcements. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's go, boys. Man, the worms are way bigger than I expected. Yeah, they're pretty massive. I think it's just because they're so long, too. I want to say Katarin can get one as a mount as well, maybe? I, I might be imagining that though. Look at these chads. Oh my god, wait, all of them are bald. All of these ones are bald, guys. What are they called? Boydenov's Brawlers. Boldenov's Brawlers. She looks so stupid on a bear. Yeah, Katarin really should not have been on a bear. I think it just like, she needed something, you know? She definitely did not suit riding a bear. Can I not use this to damage shit then? Applies poison, no it does damage. It just also heals? Or is that when you upgrade it? When you, when you overcast it? Sheesh! Get in there, Frosties. They got like a cool slide animation. There you go. They are a little bit underwhelming though, I will say. Like they're not they're not game breakers, you know? They're they're fine. Ooh, that's a good animation though. Okay, not too bad. Oh shit. Damn, yeah, okay, they got some good animations, they really do. I've actually watched them fight. I like the slidey animation.
just slinking and sliding around. Oh, oh my god, we're getting butchered. Holy shit, what's killing me here? Did my guys shoot their own dudes? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, no, 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 no. Trolls? Oh shit. Forgot about the reinforcements. Bloom is supposed to be changed. How do you think battles look now? Oh, they, wait, they, they altered the bloom? I mean, it looks pretty nice still. I have an AMB on though, so I don't know if that would actually affect it. It looks pretty amazing though with all of the uh, filters. Get yourself an EMB if you don't have one. It makes the game look a lot better. If you can, if your PC can handle it. Damn. How are they not? I would have thought they'd be done by now. Yeah, early game these guys rip. 240 only 249 value though and they've been attacking stuff for a hot minute so i mean they're not they're not world beaters good early game monstrous infantry though monstrous units Uh, can you tell me what mod you use to randomize all the starting locations? It's just called like random start location, start location randomizer or something. It's really blatant. Are they still not broken? Because goddamn. one damn it I do miss that auto ability clicker thing get a good look at this animation here that's pretty cool okay burger or pizza depends entirely that's such a vague question dog it's it depends entirely on like the quality of it you know Nope. 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 You're just gonna hit yourself. Fuck. <laughs> you dingus. I wonder how big chunks he'll take off. Eh. Maybe I should put him on a horse. Can you play the randomizer mod in multiplayer if everyone has it? Uh, ooh, I'm not sure if you can use the randomizer in multiplayer. I know that you can use it. You can use the uh, change starting location mod. I don't know about randomizer though. That's a little different.
It works in multiplayer too? Wait, the randomize all factions mod works in multiplayer too? I feel like that'd be kind of shitty. And maybe if you combine it with the, uh, if you randomize all the factions and then change your start locations to somewhere kind of nearby, that might be interesting. Burger or pizza? Like, a bad, here's the thing, bad pizza is still pretty good. Bad burgers suck ass. They're gross. You can fuck up a burger really easily. But it, you, it has to be real bad pizza to be bad, you know? Ooh, I do like these Watchmen in the Night guys. Oh, wait, did I get the mission yet? Maybe it'll be next turn, because I hit level 13. If I find out that it has to be your faction legendary lord, that'll suck. Like I gotta get, so I gotta get consultant in and make him level thirteen. Champion get the, the gold knight. Run. That would suck ass. That would I not be cool. With honor. Defender of Hopefully, it's not like that. Stand ready. Can I get that guy? What about banana curry pizza? That does not exist. There's no way that exists. Banana. There's no way that exists. That sounds rancid, dude. I don't even like pineapple on pizza. It doesn't render down properly, so it's, you just eat, eat hot pineapple. You're, you're just eating hot, moist fruit on your pizza. It's disgusting. It's sweet and yes, that pizza is good. Okay, but if it was like a Nutella, if it was just like fucking dough with like sugar and Nutella on it and cream and like slices of banana and stuff, because then it's just dough with stuff on it, you know? It's like a dessert pizza with banana. But banana in a savory contest context sounds nasty as shit. Pizza with chocolate and bananas though. That's what I'm saying, dog. Like a dessert pizza. Leader of that would be good. God, don't so talk about food. I'm, I haven't eaten all day. I'm gonna be hungry. Wait, Mangle Man. Oh shit! The, oh no. Okay, I thought I'd been taken over by this guy. Shades. He's throwing shade. Ooh, I don't know. Ah. Uh, five turns and then that's gonna take four wait if this has seven turns to build does that mean it's gonna take 14 turns when when i finally build it because that sucks complete ass i'm gonna delete the silent grove though oh wait no you know what? actually i have a better idea. I'll, be, I'll delete this and then build myself a royal barracks i think it's part of the quest for that dude the Come golden knight lady Stand ready. Guardian of the land. All right, I'm gonna kill Cock and Rip. All right. The wrath of Kislev. And okay, pizza with banana, chicken, and curry is common here. That is so strange. Maybe it's good, you know, but it doesn't sound good. Really, does not sound good at all. It's not good though. <laughs> Dessert pizza? You mean a cake? Dude, you cannot be that smooth brain. It is not a... It's not... Pizzas are flat and made of Noble dough. Of the cake is made of fucking bread. Like, not bread. You know what I mean. It's baked. Like a little baked... It's diff totally different. Ooh, regeneration. I'm gonna go with the tallest judgment shit. Start leveling up this, this skill line. I'll give him his little baby horseback too, I Mind guess. All right, we need mad level ups with this lady. Protective charms, oh. Debuff, I don't even know which to go with. Level up witch brew and fit the end of the little person then. 
I guess, Vengeance of the Spirits. Strong versus 25 units. Okay, so it's like a elite unit All killer. Warriors to defend Medium casualties. Ugh, I whatever. Standard of the Empty Deppy. What was that? Tom Standard of the Empty... Is that like a... Standard of the Empty... St Vanguard deployment for a single unit. God, it's, it's always underwhelming. I swear. The banners are so underwhelming. Man of the people. Wait, 10 leadership and minus 10 upkeep. Dude, 10 leadership for this game these guys? <laughs> They're basically unbreakable. Holy crap. Look at that. That's nuts. 80 leadership plus by our blood plus flat AoE leadership. These guys are basically unbreakable. Loyalty, bravery, and cold steel. I bet you could get a pretty good Kislevite Warrior Doomstack going. Like a legitimately not a bad one. Ooh, this guy's gonna mess with me. I know it. Oh my god. Do you have enough provinces there? God, he's doing good. He's taking all of this. Wow, where's that? Leader of Kislev's warriors. Typical Wurzag being absurdly good. Second Adam and good. Add a boy. Add a man. You should have given him a Bodish axe. They should have given him a Bodish axe. That would have been actually a really good idea like a i know exactly what you mean like uh the one that the they would rest their um that strelzy would rest their their guns on you could probably mod that dude to be honest you could turn that into a you could literally just double that up and flip it you basically got a body right there Ooh, more spells all right, DOT, right? Vengeance of the spirits. Are they loyal to the motherland? Malevolent lord. Wait, did I get the quest? I'm level 15. I should have the quest by now. Defeat enemy I'm willing to the phone. I don't think I got a quest, right? Car from ice? No, that's not it. I'm gonna start taking these off my my bar for shit. I'm not gonna use. Car from ice? No. Mightiest fortress. Upgrade any that does not need to be up there. Good additional lord. Wait, I can can I do that with Consultant? Can I just snipe Consultant out here like nice, cheap Consultant. Good. Research technologies. Capture any problem the I'm never capture a pro wait ca oh wait an enemy of the ice court and okay Through more units Invoke them online. I know any god no engage the yeah, this is none. there's none of these It's a quest. I don't have Would it be cheap if I just gave consultant 12 levels so I could get this lady? What do you guys think? Will randomize location screw quests? I don't know. Defend but I do Kislev. want that gold lady. Because her eight... Oh, God. She's got the, the strongest the items in pretty much the entire game. It's like... Not as good... I guess not as good as the Sword of Cain. But that's like a special I item. I am Kostantin. I'm not... I'm, he's just going to sit here and defend my shit anyway. This fiery place is a trial. All right, let's see if we get the quest. I'm just going to leave him here. I'm not even going to spend his points. Give him 37 levels for the Soviet Union. Maybe it's one of those things where he has to naturally... No, because it'll det detect it on the end turn.
Gold Knight and Green Knight date night. That's a good sentence, dude. I'm pretty sure the uh, Gold Knight absolutely shits on the uh, the Green Knight, though. Just in the uh, the the one debuff item alone. Supreme Patriarch, word reaches us that your oh. flock is in danger. Cursed elves. Oh, there we go. The ocean yeah, yeah, there we go. To enslave. But the blood and toil of Kislevites is not for them to use. Golden Knight, Descent that of Lisa. The I'm sure the falling blood is in frozen. Uh, we also got the frozen outpost thing if we wanted that. To get that stinky we vampire lady. What was the building I was going to build? Oh, yeah. Uh, Royal Barracks. I'm pretty sure that's like the part two of it, so screw it. Hell, chaos. Uh, okay, it doesn't really matter. I'm barely gonna be using him. An instrument of Father Bear's will. Oh shit, we can get. Why would I want knife for your units? Obey me. Obey Orson! Cruel and deadly. Oh damn, it works. Yeah. Possible low current moment incoming. What do you mean? It works fine. I just gotta kill 1,500 people. No Maybe I can get them. That ain't 1,500, but it's sort of close. I'm gonna. I need to upgrade the Phoenix Gate, actually. Uh. Ooh. Whatever. Fear my malice. Elven Meat Shield? Hmm, true, true. It's like when you recruit mercenaries in uh in uh historical total war games and you just throw them in because you're like because you're gonna delete them next turn anyway. I always love doing that. You just gotta you just recruit a couple of fodder mercenary units and just throw them in from the towers. Prepare for a certified oak coin event in this midterm. Why? What's happening? What'd I do? Dude, oh my god, where's that fucking up the Chaos Dwarves now? Greenskins are a menace. They're an ash- they're, Greenskins are a legitimate menace. They're so strong. Uh... Oh, dude. Diplomatic relations with the Empire. Ooh. That's like my favorite thing about playing as the Bretonians. You, uh... You get huge diplomatic research buffs if you buy them. Like, plus 50 with, like, Empire factions. Or with the dwarves, whatever. You just get tons of allies. The bear commands me. I feel like allies in... Total War games have always been kind of mid, but Fight for Mother they're still fun. I miss Ogre Mercs. Yeah. Hopefully the Man Eaters will. Ooh. God damn. Is he really that strong in the auto just because a couple of shades? That's crazy. To battle! Mangles man flares. Chosen Drusina. Destroyed. How many out? 877 out of 1500. Alright. Ooh. Ooh, 25% campaign line of sight is actually great. A symbol of my power. Blessing discs? Is that almost flat metal discs inscribed with oh it's literal discs? Like what? Okay, what does speaks to the forest do? Um it gives uh the it gives him a 25% mustache length buff and he can and he is the Lorex, he speaks to the trees. Ooh. Nope. 
Commander of the soldiers. Wait, is this, I speak for the trees or to the trees? I'm forgetting my Lorax lore. My Lorax. Hold on. I'm gonna go pee. <laughs> there's no... There's no good way to do this. Wait, can I like... No, I don't fuck the overlay. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Before somebody asks, yes, I washed my hands. I pissed all over them. Kill two birds with one stone. Province first rank when that's the wrong province. No thanks. All right. I kind of want some mad shit to happen. This is the only problem with these campaigns. This this location is kind of safe. And we got lucky by getting old bug eyes on the same thing. On the same island. I feel like I'm... I mean, green skins are definitely a problem. Wait, I think he got killed. I think Drizolath won. Level 19? God damn, dude. All the chaos and, uh... Chaos Dwarves over here are going to be a nightmare for everybody to deal with. Follow me into the wild. From Linsk to Urskoy, we stand strong. Urskoy? That kind of jump scared me a little bit. They was talking to me. The motherland's children are I mean, if you have a death wish, just move north. I mean, we could go and invade Bretonia or Chaos Tonia. God damn, dude. This whole area is messed up. I kind of want to check out who's nearby. I know it's a bit of a spoiler, but I'm, I'm curious. Oh, ugh. God, the F, the fucking lag because of all of the, oh my God. Oh, is that my boy? Ah, oh, it's fucking Ghost of Power. I thought it was Greasus. I thought it was all greasy. They have a similar uh, banner, brown with yellow. Cult of Pleasure. Yeah, dude. Oh my god. What in the fuck? Wait. Why are the ghosts of power? Okay, this guy's going crazy. Shitex. He owns Skaven Blight, Bilbali, this whole ass region. Oh my god, he's popping off. Got territory over here. Hexwaddle is over here. Dude, Croak and Oxyodel going nuts. Look at this guy, killing everybody. God damn. He owns the, the Oak of Ages. This really needs to be bigger. The Oak of this this area is so funny how small it is in Immortal Empires. Relegated to like three provinces, it's it's so little. Reset elements, I mean. Scenes are doing well, obviously. It's it's the <laughs> Yeah. Legion of Asgore. Manfred. God damn, dude. A lot of dangerous shit.
wonder who's fighting who then. Hola, skink. What do they actually say? Does this mean like hello, skink? That would that would make even less sense. Man, the east is nuts. Or what's I don't think I think west is fine. It's mostly like human factions and shit. Uh, I thought she dominates. Oh, wait, are we getting messed up here? Oh, no, we're doing well. We're actually doing good. Sweet. Just keep stacking uh, devotion, I guess. I kind of might kneecap my growth buildings. That's ridiculous. It's such a long time, dude. Rebit's Eye Gouger. Wonder how he got that name. Let's do it. You losing? We're winning. What do you mean? We're winning, son. Oh, these are good units. Greenskins are among one of the few factions that actually recruit good shit. Especially Wurzag. He's got all these savage orcs. They get the uh, faction-wide buffs. Oh, man. This is winnable. Oh, it's a single-sided. Oh, it's the unique battle map for um. Shit, what's his location called? Fight for Kisler. Tori Vress. Horse comrade. No, thank you. All right, maybe he'll, hopefully he'll, maybe he'll rush out. Famous last words: This is winnable. More unique maps will be nice. Yeah, but not if it's the single side siege settlement from Warhammer Two. That was a lot of asses. So are the new Kislev Spearmen like Marauder Spearmen? No, 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 no. They're way better than that. They're they're actually really really good. It's kind of crazy how good they are. For what they are. They're tier one. They're basically supposed to be this faction's tier, like shit to your meat shield unit, like Noblars or, you know, Goblin Infantry or whatever, oh, Laborers, no. Skaven Slaves, but they're way better than that. Cut them down. Like these are yoked a little bit because we've got some faction wide buffs and shit, but you've got by our blood leadership passive, so 30 seconds of unbreakable when they're wavering. They've got all of the usual stuff that they have, resilience, whatever, and then they've got. Um, huge bonus for Sludge, obviously. Decent uh, damage. Armor piercing, which is the craziest part. Tier, they're, 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 the base infantry have armor piercing, which is crazy. And then they have, which really, really makes a dramatic difference to the amount of damage that they can do. But on top of that, they get great leadership and great melee defense. So they can hold like absolute beasts. All around, they're just really, really good tier one infantry. Probably the best in the game right now. Especially because of the armor piercing. Like, in terms of being good over other factions, definitely. 10k? Ugh. Defend the motherland. Um. Feel my wrath. More like Imperial Halberdiers on tier 1. Kind- yeah, pretty much. Nerfed in the next update, probably. Yeah, they, they usually make a lot of the DLC stuff kind of pump it up a bit, you know? I, I think they were expecting units like Satan to kind of carry sales for the DLC, though. Ooh, attack me. Do I play this or auto it? Pair with medium. What do you think? Take the auto or fight it? I don't know. Can you pause the stream? Uh, I'm going off for a nap. Um, I'll think about it. Auto manual fight it. Dude, you can't spam it. You, 
I don't know whether to play this or not. A lot of biggins. Trolls. Monstrous units. They've got quite a few trolls. Damn. Don't be a babby. Fight it. Roll a two-sided dice. All right, we'll flip a coin. Uh, all right, here we go. All right. Uh, okay, heads, heads we uh, heads we play it, tails we don't. All right. Do you have siege unit? It doesn't matter. This isn't a siege. They've sallied out to attack me. Hello, what graphical settings you're using? Oh, I can actually show you because I'm in a single player. I will show you. I, it's mostly uh, ultra on like the important shit and then like medium on the stuff that doesn't matter. Uh, I'll show you. I'm playing on... Yeah. 3080 Ti... Ultra high, some stuff off, depth field off, usage reflections, medium on building detail, terrain and grass is all on like high to ultra. And then, yeah, dismemberment. High particle scale and low bloodstain scale, which is really good because it means that units don't get completely covered from like the, you know, from toes to tip, like in blood. They get specks of blood on them, but when shit gets, you know, smashed by monsters, like monstrous infantry gets smashed. They explode into like, you know, they explode infantry into like paste. So it, it's it's a good middle ground. I always used to keep them at the same point, but blood stain scale is the one you want low. Just to scale blood on units and then just to scale blood particle effects. Yeah, these are my settings. And then I've got an EMB, which makes the game look extra pretty look. So you can get like cinematic shots. All right, we got a lot of trees. Oh wait, I might, ooh, okay. Lots of stuff coming in. We gotta, we gotta. This is too many unit types even for me. Even for me, as if I ever use a lot. <laughs> All right. All right, and then we use that Vanguard deployment to get out there, cast some spells, and then I bet these things can't hide. Yeah. All right. Uh. Oh. Okay. Here, here we go. The guns down the flanks, like that. Where's their army? Are they in the trees? Are they pulling a Lorax on me? We'll get our infantry corps set up. Rust worms ready to go. Keep my monster saw over on this side, actually. In the middle. Oh! Ah, no, 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 no. God damn, you look away for one second! Damn nasty skulkers. Woo. Not a bad amount of damage. I don't like that you can't put skirmish mode on this uh, Ag Witch. Damn, she's fast. Wait, damage, direct damage. Strong versus 25 people are above. Wait, how many can you affect with this? Affects all enemies in range? Wait. Causes damage to self, affects units. So you can damage your own units to regenerate spell recharge. Ooh, okay. Actually, you know, there's a lot of them coming. I have to turn around here. Go, 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 go. Trolls coming, trolls coming. 
No, get away! No, get away! Leave my witch alone! Leave my witch alone! What's this pig man doing? Fuck you, dude! Get out of here! Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Yes, dude! Oh, sh oh shit, oh shit, here we go. Okay, big stuff, big stuff. Alright, my infantry should be able to hold for a long time against this sort of cavernous wave of. Alright, we're gonna have to. Alright, here, here we go. Ice. Units behind. To the blobs. Get my caster over here. Get a nice overcharged. For these. Wait, is the he Oh, wait, I think that's the heal. Shit. Ah, shit. Nice, nice. Kill him. Kill him good. Alright. Buffs. Alright, they're chewing through our infantry a little bit. It's not so bad. Nothing like a good gunnery flank, though. Name one more satisfying thing than setting up gunners perfectly on a flank to shoot down into the sides of units. Ooh, ooh, oh my god. Arjushina is getting messed up, dude. Ah, oh, we're beating him now. Nice. Moving. His left sends us forth. To the gate. Uh. Ooh. This is a cool little battle. Okoy, can you speak Gen A? Gen A? Is this gonna be a set of like genitals or something? Nice, we did it. Alright, I wanna. Can I weasel my way into what? Affects allies in range all. Alright, so can I group my guys together? You guys are team killing here. Defender of Kislev. Right, and then Rusina. up a heel. I don't know why I'm pumping all this stuff, but fuck it. Nice. I don't know, I think I'm... It's working, kinda. Yes, the heal cheese. Heal cheese with uh, vampire accounts was always so fun. You know? Like, you, like, oh no, my units have taken some damage. I'll just pop, like... Seven heals after the games ended and just heal all my units back up to full Weird seeing it like Not getting caught in the breath attacks and stuff. Oh, okay. The range is pretty forgiving. Nothing like a good heal cheese. Now Kislev has more healing than an Urgle. I mean, I could maybe get a lore of Hag's healer as well. We I mean, really will. Yeah, this is nice. Having this witch brew thing though. Seems like it heals for quite a lot. Oops. Okay, we're out of them. How many of these can I get out? 
goddamn. Ooh, they're almost at the edge of the field. Come on, one more. One more. And I can just keep going. Yeah, that's pretty good. That, that heal spam is pretty nice. It's not too expensive, too. Doesn't look like she gets any value for casting heal spells, which is interesting, because it's obviously based on damage dealt as gold value. I want da I want utility gold based uh, from utility value too, like overall value from you know general effect. How many how much you healed if you revive units, you replenished ammo for units, shit like that. The great bear has no mercy. That would be an interesting stat. It's kind of like how uh, the gold value didn't used to be a thing. It used to just be kills, and that's the only info, info you got, which was a really bad um, metric for how good a unit was doing. So I'm, I'm glad they expanded on that. I want to see more, though. Give me more. Falcon Flesh. I want to see what that is. So Falcon Fletched. Is that not working? I don't think it updated yet. Is it bugged? Oh man, don't be bugged. Falcon Fletched ammunition anti-infantry for whole Sotra. Oh, it's only for whole Sotras, right. Uh, uh, I want to know what it does though. The wrath of Kislev. I'm never gonna Fight recruit Hall this late Kislev. into a campaign. That's such a weird ability. Falcon Fletched. Remind me to, to, to like delete one of my units and just spawn I in a unit of Hall though. I wanna see if that's how much that adds. I am Koskalten. Medium Dude. I must have just ruined their leadership. Because they barely took any casualties. Eee, sheesh. Okay. Kislev's dominion grows. Hey, there we go. Golden Knight takes notice. Ensure that the Royal Barracks is completed. It is completed. Yeah. Diplomatic relationships with Kislev. Global recruitment cost plus one. Or recruitment cost for Ice Guard units. Oh, fuck that. For seven turns and you still get the hero. The Golden Knight. Yeah, boy. All right. This the is the Golden, Golden Knight. Knight. Narska Laza. Wait, I just got physical resistance 15%. Is that an item? Drujina. Drujina stand ready. Don't stand. Ah, okay. Nice. Alright, so these items are are nuts. They're just absolutely ridiculous. Champion of Kislev. Alright, oh. Regen. This gift is mine alone. The drip? Yeah, her drip. The this lady's drip is unmatched. In my opinion, best looking female character in the game. Name name a female character that looks less that looks more cool than this. I I challenge you. Okay, how much do you bench? I have absolutely no idea, dude. The Golden Knight looks Cathayan. That's what I said. I, I said they look like a high elf Cathay lord. Literally, they look like fifty percent Cathay, fifty percent high elf. You know, Silostra. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, okay. So this item, I can make it three items. The Golden Wayfarers, corruption uh, local. I didn't. I, I've never seen this, but this weapon, pretty good. Urson's claw. 50% whatever frozen and they, it inflicts frozen but can't move which is pretty insane this though like vigor loss reduction 10% whatever Abil ability totem of ursus so everything in a 35 meter radius permanently in, in that radius um, is silenced and silenced means that they can't use abilities of any kind or, or spells of any kind no buffs no anything Buffs like like you just you can pin enemies down and just 
beat the crap out of them and debuff them. Also, really tanky, silver, frostbite, magical attacks, good uh, weapon damage, 10 bonus for infantry. The damage could be a little bit better. It's mostly non-armor piercing. But, uh... Oh, I actually haven't checked any of their campaign buffs. And, and they can get a horse, so they can basically chase down almost anybody. Hellebron, okay, wants that hella bussy. Dude, nah. Va okay, Valkia is pretty cool. I think I still think this lady uh, looks cooler than, than Valkia. Valkia's got that chrome dome. Pretty good buffs. Person's Claw, cooldown reduction. Legion's points gains 30%. Alright, what's Kislev's stuff? Kislev Unite. Also good. A plus 8 buff, affects your allies in range. Increases as this person takes damage. Consecrated. Ward set. You see what I mean? Like, just uh, this stuff's nuts. Affects 20% physical resistance and immune to flanking for everything in a 35 meter race that's a hero or, or a, a lord. Bigger loss reduction for the whole army. Melee defense for the lord. Oh no, for the accompanying lord. Oh my god. So this just buffs the crap out of my ward save for the accompanying lord. Very cool. Bust for troops. I didn't even look at this. Damn, dude. Armor 10 for Sawguard. Melee defense for Sawguard. Eh. Ice Guard stuff I'm less hyped for, but this is pretty dope. Speed. Damn. I mean, they're a legendary hero, but th this stuff's nuts. A female with a f with full body armor, that's crazy. Exactly, dude. I'm so not used to that. I thought this was a dude. I had no idea that this Nariska person was a, was a lady. It's nice to see female characters that aren't just bait, though. You know what I mean? Where every single female character is just hot and, and not cool. Not that characters can't be hot and cool, but you know what I mean. They're usually just bait. In most games, I feel like. It's super rare that you get female characters that are just cool and just happen to be female. Loyalty, bravery, and cold steel. Looks like a dude, too. I guess. There's not much definition lady-wise, but it's because they're jacked. Cough, Marathi, cough. Marathi is not cool. She's just a hoe bag with big hair. Commander of the soldiery. You're out of your mind if you think she's cool. I guess it depends what you think is cool. I think the Kislev, Kislevite female characters are pretty good in terms of not being bait. Very true. Like, generic lords, there's actually quite a few of them that aren't just skimpy, like, dark elf lords and, and shit like that. You know what I mean? No boob armor. That's rare. Orika is really cool, too. Yeah, but they made her, like... She has, like, smoky eyeliner and, thigh like, thigh-high leather boots and shit. I'm like, eh. I mean characters that aren't sexualized at all and are just fucking cool and just happen to be female. How rare is that? Like legit. It's actually, it's, I feel like it's rare in, in almost all fantasy oriented games. Dragon Lady? Yeah. Dragon Lady's another good one. She looks cool as hell. I think female dreadlords are cool and not too sexy. Yeah. It's more witch elves and shit. Like, Warhammer is not too bad for it. They like, but uh, you know, Total War I feel like is a good series for not having characters that are just bait. Like, uh, wh what's the name of the the three K lady with the dual axes too? Wait, Hex Curse Mark Additional. Ah, oh, never mind. I thought this was a bigger thing. Jen Jang. Jen Jang. I think she's called Jen Jang. She's pretty dope. Check out Nexus armors for females in Skyrim. I don't quite. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. I don't want a chainmail bikini in my Skyrim. Thank you. That shit is mad cringe. Which one of these do I get? I, I kind of want to buff the crap out of my lord. Effecturation for hex spells, it would be great though. But which is which are hexes and which aren't hexes? You know? Hex spells. Like this kind of shit? I don't know if it's a hex. Chain hex. 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 Uh... Well, this, uh, no, this is a spell. Damn it. So it's, uh, it'll affect these three and then not. Nah, yeah, all right. It's just going to affect shit. I'm not going to use. 
because I don't I'm not a huge fan of debuffs why debuff when you can use a spell that damages enemies or, or heals your own troops mother knows best mama knows best Sisters of Battle are cool? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Wait, are Sisters of Battle the ones wearing skimpy armor with whips? That's exactly what I'm talking about. That being said, the Dark Elves don't discriminate. Like, the dude Dark Elves are also wearing skimpy armor and shit. You know what I mean? The, the High Elves, there are Wood Elves wearing wearing thigh highs. You know, it's, it's just aesthetic. Troll hags. Ah, yeah, dude. Troll hags are a perfect example of, of uh, unflattering female portrayals of, and good characters. I like troll hags. Troll hag doomstack was really strong. Military access. Yeah, let's do fuck it. Allies with the dwarves. Need more dudes in slut gear? <laughs> yeah, dude. Why just women in slut gear? That's not fair. That's sexist, dude. Imagine Malekith wearing Marathi's armor. <laughs> but, but he still has the helmet on. That'd be cool. <laughs> Do not That'd be cool. I am Trout. Trout. Your champion. Get down here, Nareska. Noble of the Oblast. As is my right. Uh, ah, nice. Cut them down. I want Grom in bikini armor. Oh, God. I took a Grom for like a, a battle test thing the other day. Um, to test like the mass of uh, Katarin's new chariot and shit. I just happened to be, be using green skins because I got a good oh, array of like monstrous stuff, cav, whatever. And uh, I forgot how nasty Grom's bot is. You will fall. He's like fully naked except wearing a loincloth and a fur coat. It's it's pretty crazy. And he's got that big gut that hangs over his wang. The motherland widens. He's pretty gross and also very you cool. Stand ready. We can start buffing units soon. I think I'm never gonna use wait. Number of uses and cool that yeah, I don't Firing drills. Uh, what? Which is the? Where's the buffs for basic dudes? Wait, can I not buff my basic infantry? Wait a minute. What? There's no buffs for uh, Kislevite warriors. They're just not in. Do they get? Okay, they get skirmisher tactics. They get 15% missile resistance, 5 melee attack, and 15% ammunition. Very cool. Do they get uh, buffed by the melee one? No. What the hell, man? Damn, Kiss of My Warriors got jibbed. That's sad. I accept this tribute. All right, cursed cauldron, dude. Yeah, big mighty spells. More warriors to defend Kislev. The Tsarina's champion. Is he gonna come back, or is he screwed? I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Wurzag traveled across, died in Leoness, and then just hasn't been able to recover oh. since. Unless he's hiding over here. Lord Skralk in skimpy robes. Which character do you think has objectively the most disgusting body in in uh, Warhammer? And why is it Marathi? <laughs> who, who has the most diseases in, in, uh, in Warhammer? And why is it Marathi? For real though, like... Who's, who has the most disgusting body? Kugath? Kugath's a good bet. 
Probably, yeah, Kugas probably a good bet. Dude is just a giant, fat, pustulous mouth on his stomach having ass. Festus too, yeah? It's gotta be Festus or Kugas. Easily Kugath, but Gorst is pretty nasty looking too. Yeah, but Gorst is just like a vampire necromancer guy. He's he's I, I, he's like barely even a dead guy. And if he is, he's all dried out. Like the Tomb Kings, for example. Like have you ever seen uh, dead Tomb King, like tomb whatever preserved bodies in sarcophaguses Commander and stuff? The They're all dr <laughs> They're all dry and like flaky and shit. They wouldn't be all squishy and gross and actively stinky like like Kugath. Scrag? Nah, Scrag's just a big fat guy. It's gotta be... It's Festus or... or Yeah. I put it on Festus. The dude's got like potions and stank. He's got like a neck goiter. Like disgusting neck goiter. Land for the taking. Not for Ursun himself. Look at him on his tiny little horse. A fool's errand. Ah shit, I gotta delete a unit. Um... Oh boy. I don't want to delete because the light warriors because they're new, so I'm gonna drop... A unit of Streltsy. I do like Streltsy, but they're probably the least useful unit. <laughs> Chill! Hmm. No. That is beneath me. Follow my lead. Throt? Throt's just... Like, a three-armed stinky rat. He's a little bit stinky, but he's not like... Think about... Okay, Kugath is like... Kugath and Festus are both Nurgle. Nurgle is just... They're like made of rot. That's like... They're, they're literally made of rotting corpses and like pus and... Like, just... And they're, and they're actively disgusting. You know? The smell would be unreal. Yeah, but did somebody get close to Kugath Lowrise and survived? Probably not. Unless they're like magical. Oh, nice. I have diplomatic relations with the Brotherhood of the Bear. Cool, cool. Very useful for this faction that's literally on the other side of the entire map. Yeah, I think he's screwed. I j There's no way. Teclis is absolutely clapping his cheeks. This guy's... Square... F fucking Wurzag's days are numbered. For the glory of Kislev. Wait, she's Defend only 218 a turn. Very cheap. Champion of Kislev. The wrath of Kislev. Gorst did. He killed Kugath and had a chat with his decapitated head. Gorst killed Kugath and had a chat, talk to his decapitated head. How did he cut off his head? Is that real? Is Gorst like actually really strong? I thought it was from a book, like a, like an offshoot lore book or something. Fight for Kisler. A worthy addition to my home. But then Gorst immune to disease thanks to Kugath's diseases. Huh. This is what I mean, lore is interesting. Like you never know which characters have just had run-ins. Uh they just bust for them. When do I get Rank 4? Six. We need a challenge, though. This is starting to feel real easy. This is becoming a... We're getting to that snowball point where I start getting bored with campaigns, you know? But you've, you've gotten up and up and up. You're too strong. You're, you know, nothing can beat you at this point. It would be, I'd be shocked if we fought, some, fought something that would be an issue. Age of Smegmar? Ew. Gorse looks like the stinkiest model you might meet. Really? He's just a skinny, like, old guy. Gorse. 
There's no way he's that bad. I think you remember. Oh, he's kind of. Nah, I don't know, man. I don't think he's that bad. I stay. I stick by my point. He's just like a crusty dude. He's just like a crusty magic guy. He's not that gross, you know? Maybe because he's hanging around corpses all the time. I still, I stand by the fact that he is the coolest looking uh, vampire counts guy. Vlad is overrated and Gorst is, is always been my, my favorite looking a vampire count. And my favorite playing vampire count, especially when he got the rework for Mortal Empires. Then I was like, oh man, now he's actually good and not a laughing stock. Because Gorsh used to be a meme, like an actual meme. Kind of Loic, they're done, dude. Look at the grime on his face, countless years of filth unwashed. Yeah, but who the who washes in the Lord? Maybe the High Elves? And that's like it? I'll replace one of these with these guys, why not? War spares his decisions. Anti-infantry dudes. God, these names. Leader of Kislev's warriors. Uh, man, what I wouldn't do for in inviolable, inviolable. Is that a word? Inviolable. Inviolable. Never to be broken, infringed, or dishonored. Okay. Unhurtable? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's that unhurtable does sound less punchy, though, let's be honest. Oh that's the wait, is this the rock spell salt of stone? That that's the one that I I, I used for the the rocks meme a long time ago. Vigorous drill. Look at these buffs, dude. Hydrogen is getting stronger and start. Look at these fucking stats. Let's go. 80 speed. 100 armor. Big missile strength. Are they loyal to the motherland? Okay, declare war on the chorfs. Why don't we just wipe it? Alright, but I'm gonna wipe out Wurzag first. It would be foolish not to wipe him out. He's definitely dead, though. We just need to take Karen off him, and he's done. Zogoth? You need help. More Zogoth. I don't know if this guy is a guy in the lore. I know that in the books, because of like it's wash, but it can go months uh, without while being on the <laughs> on the road. <coughs> That's kind of like common though in in medieval no, warfare and stuff. Like, when do you get a when do you you don't really get much time to like go to a river and bathe with soap and shit, you know? Alright, we need a goal for this stream, though. Fighting the Chorps could be fun. That's actually a good challenge, because the Chorps are so strong. Another Blessed Helm of Oblast? Wait, Enchanted Item lost? Did they snatch my shit? Why did I lose this? Did they just steal my- did the stuff snatchers just steal my shit? Is this actually- I've never had that happen. Is this actually like a mechanic? 
They took my enchanted item. The hell is that? What in the f shit? Is that actually a thing? If they, they get defeated power. near you, they snatch your stuff or they their army disappears if, once they snatch Champion your crap? Kisleth. Commander of the soldiery. Defend the motherland. Is it just a wild coincidence that I just randomly lost an item while a faction called the Stuff Snatchers disappeared? To battle. And was killed? The motherland widened. Yeah, yeah, faction destroyed. Damn, he got absolutely butchered. That's crazy. Guardian of the land. Mine by right. Ooh, hell yeah. Hmm. All right. Only the brave I guess I guess we can go fight the warriors. There's no way sloppy Crickshank is a real character in like Skaven lore, right? That can't be a thing. Dude, I get another one? Uh Okay, uh, can you pick one character to be friends with, one to be your enemy, and one to shoot on the spot? What do you mean? Like, out of the Warhammer Lords? Did you just, did you just do fuck, marry, kill with extra steps? <laughs> you could just say, all right, uh, I would, uh, I would, uh, marry fuck and then kill Grisus. <laughs> In that order. <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. I kind of want to try something to round out the stream with. You know the, uh, has anybody seen the Satan yet? The big mech Noble archer guy. I kind of want to test out having 19 of that dude and just nuking some shit. Double pace. Uh. Can I replenish if I'm in the water? Follow me into the water. Apparently, sloppy quick shanks are for white dwarf issue. What is favorite human character? The Ooh, probably the Georgina. They're genuinely, they're genuinely kind of the coolest humans now. Kids have always been my favorite human faction, I think. Especially in Warhammer 3. I didn't know much about them prior to that. Ogres are just big humans, though, so maybe ogres. They're just really, really big dudes. Sure, do it. Yeah, I'll probably... Jump into a custom battle at some point to round out the stream and then <laughs> stack a full 19 stack of them and shoot some crap. I want to see if we can instantly kill something. I mean, 19, we definitely will be able to one shot some stuff. Nice. Is Kislev the Imperial God of Warhammer? 
I would say that. Oh. All right. Okay. An actual fight against like a. It, oh, it's literally sloppy quickshank. Wait, am I gonna be tired? I feel like I was in March stance. Shit. All right. Well, that maybe that's why. Oh, well, this will be interesting. He's screwed because I have trees. There's no way. He might have been able to do something here, but I I have trees now, so he's doomed. Who would be the Who would be the uh, Imperial God of Warhammer Fantasy then? I want to say the Empire, though, because they're kind of like the main human guys. Oh, dude, our central, our central squad here is getting so stacked. This is basically, by the way, this right here is an un, is a, 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 almost an unkillable central grouping of dudes, because we've got, especially once the Golden Knight has a as a horse, I guarantee we can solo an army with just these four dudes. We got buff AOEs, heal AOEs, especially with a. Uh, Hag on the sidelines healing. There's no way we're dying. Skaven are the t are the Tyranids of fantasy. Okay, I'm gonna go on a limb and say that the Greenskins are the orcs of Warhammer Fantasy. If that's not too weird to say. The Eldar are the are the Dark Elves, I guess. Some of them are just direct copyovers, you know? The Necrons are the Tomb Kings. Maybe. Imperial God of the Dark Souls of Fortnite. What a fucking stupid sentence. <laughs> you fucking goober. <laughs> That's so dumb, dude. Shut up. Alright. Hold it down. Oh, no, you don't. No, 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 no. You bitch. Can I get that guy down somehow? Wait, can I? Mm. What would be effective against them? How big is the effect on Curse Cauldron? I do. This will be a good time to try this out on Storm Vermin. Are they really gonna camp? They attacked me and they're gonna camp? That's unbelievable. Look how fast the fucking hag witches can move through trees. I'll literally move through trees. Oh, don't you dare. No, no, no. Get away. Get away. Get him. Get him. Whoa. Whoa. They'll rush me once I delete their stupid laser cannons, right? I just fucking doom wheel. Dude, the cooldown on bre this breast spell is insane. I'm just pumping these out. God, Skaven is such a fun faction. I've been asleep, but Skaven have such an unbelievable amount of choice. I kind of get, I kind of get overwhelmed. 
especially in multiplayer. I'd never play Skaven in multiplayer battles. Just too much to choose from. Eat my balls, eat my balls, eat my balls. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Wipe, 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 come on. Ooh, that'll be clean. They've got to be shattered. Come on. I can't believe they're still camping. This is unprecedented. Go away, Doom Wheel. Dude, the, is that, that must have some damage over time. Skaven are the best. I do do love me some Skaven, especially in campaign. I got break already. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. No, no. All right, they're not coming back, right? Yeah, there you go. Now they're fucking pushing. There you go. No, 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 Shit, 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 shit. Get out of range. Get, out of, get stealth again. Go. Moving stealth. Moving stealth. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> no, thank you. Keep going, keep going. Ah, uh, run, lady, run! Run! Damn it, I don't want him in the trees. No, 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 no. Alright, fuck it, fuck it. God, they're not that bad in melee. They can hold. Just for a second. But we delete these rat ogres. No, run. Alright. I really want to test this. Oh, I can't test Curse Cauldron yet. Oh, no, 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 Frostworms. Ooh, yeah. Fucking Kiss the White Warriors is starting to get chunked a bit now. Alright, time to try a Curse Cauldron out. Overcast is what? Doesn't harm friendly troops? Spell cannot harm friendly troops. Oh, that's really nice. If I put one right here. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's like a little pot and shit comes out of it. It's kind of cool. I can't tell if that's really... How, how's she doing? 255. That's not too bad. That seems a little underwhelming. But I don't know. Uh -oh. Ooh. 
Okay, how to participate in your multiplayer randomizers? You choose random people? What? No, no, they're not. <laughs> I, I'm. This isn't a multiplayer one. Do you mean uh, in the the head-to-head -head campaigns, like the the three-player, six-player, like that kind of thing? I'm assuming that's what you mean. Because that's just based on whoever gets in and has like a good PC and shit. Oh my god, dude. Right, get that fucking grace here now. Guarantee this guy has way more value than anybody. Yeah, 2,200 value. Warp Lightning needs to be nerfed, dude. It's so fucking crazy strong for how cheap it is. It's actually a joke how much they can, how powerful it is and how frequently they can get it out. You know? It's always an absolute nightmare. Yeah, 2,602 value, 17,000 damage. He, he was, he's done more damage than anything on the enemy team by a massive margin. It's not even close. Poison wins, 1,100. Yeah, I kind of like slept on the uh, central bot to be honest, but this guy, fuck that guy. Rusina, defender of Kislev. Kislev sends us forth. Champion of the motherland. This uh, Nariska one was kind of slow. It's kind of the only downside. Once she gets a horse, though, unbelievably OP. Warrior and leader. Get slapped on, the lady. Or dude, rat dude. God, I hate these fucking visual effects so much. Uh, okay. That was just the wrong way completely. That's actually crazy. That was just totally the wrong direction. <laughs> Ooh, shit. No, I do not want to risk <laughs> fucking. <laughs> it's awesome, okay? I don't give CA ideas. I wish Harold Hammerfist would get a Blood Crusher. I have yet to do a campaign with Harold. I was. Th I wanted to do. One, I was thinking of, dude, oh my god, look at the value diff for these. They, all of their army did dog shit except this guy. 89, 9, 500, like the, like the Poison Globideers did decent. You know, the Doom Wheel, a couple of them did okay, but like fucking 2600 from just spamming a level, like a low level spell is crazy. Victory makes us stronger. Drusina. For the glory Ooh. of Kislev. A symbol of my power. The sea often brings enemies. I need a fleet for Kislev's glory. Uh. This is one of the most tame randomizers I think we, I've ever done. Usually there's such a chaotic mix of factions and just a bunch of bullshit happens that I get stomped. I think it's partially playing as factions I don't know how to play, and I know how to play Kislev.
Like, I don't know. No. Wait, I don't use any of these fucking units. 10% missile resistance for all units in the army is crazy. Ocean brings opportunity. No, you fail, fail. The A mighty victory and a well-deserved rest. All right, hold on. All right, because it's it's uh it's almost seven. <laughs> I got a bunch of stuff to do. Hopefully today, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the campaign. But I want to do this Satan thing, dude. If anybody hasn't seen Satan yet, it's probably the most showy unit in the entire game, and it's not even close. It's not even remotely close. Hold on, I have to... Why don't I just get double? Just say fuck it. This is going to be absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Wait. Gotta test that out on some good infantry too. Hundred and fifty. Wait, what kind of missile resist they got? Fifteen percent missile resistance with hundred fifty armor. I gotta test it on these guys too. Does anybody remember what the flat map is called? Grass. Some. I do not remember at all. Uh, planes? Oh my god, why does it do that? Crossroads? There you go. Yeah, yeah, crossroads. Oh my god, that really is literally just a complete flat map. Look, oh my god, it's just a barren, flat, perfectly flat wasteland. Better have a staunch spear lights on. For, <laughs> there's been some really good memes in the community. I feel like we could definitely one-shot with half of this army. It's gun to time. I just want to see if we can one shot one of the tankiest units of the game. Can I just overlay these guys? That. We await the enemy. Beautiful. So this is Satang's. Satang's. It's easily the showiest unit in the entire game, and it is it even close? So. Ooh. Oh, they're not going to attack me. Really? Alright. Have you played Helldivers 2 yet? No, I have not. I'm not a big sci-fi kind of guy, but um, Indie Pride was telling me about it. That's really good. And uh, he showed me a clip from it. It actually looks pretty fun. Alright. I want to see if we can one-shot... A rogue idol. So this is the ridiculous over the top animation. Oh yeah, no that absolutely is gone. Jesus Christ. 
What if I put out like half an army? On one of these. Like seven or eight of them? Holy shit, dude. Unbelievable unit. Also fucks up infantry. <laughs> it's absolutely ludicrous, right? The actual individual projectiles aren't mega, like, like super strong, but it's the, it's the other shit that's insane. Also, the jump attack game bad. That's some Gundam shit right there. The synchronization of that is nuts. Hold on, can I just get a full jump from all of these dudes? Simultaneous anime jump, go! <laughs> they're also not bad in melee. They're not good, but they're not bad. Like, they've still got 550 weapon strength, half decent attack. Like, they're good in melee. Just not as good as, like, not, even, not close to as good as a regular Terracotta Sentinel. Piss jetpack? It's the worst thing you possibly could have said. Damn, dude. Hold on. Ain't no fire will. I just want to bully for no reason. All right, and <laughs> this is gonna be so ridiculous. Oh my god, I can't even see him. <laughs> yo, yo, what? They're still shooting his body? <laughs> That is the most overkill thing I've ever seen in this game. That's crazy. What would the jump attack do look like with no cooldown? Oh, that'd be funny. The way CA made it sound, I wanna see if, what's the tankiest, biggest unit in the entire game? I'd say either a rogue idol or a dread saurian, right? Dread saurians are like bullet magnates, though. They're really not hard to take down with a ranged. Shredder of Lustria. 15, 1500 HP. Or isn't it Kugath? 1400. Ah, it's close, though. He doesn't have missile resistance. Go hunting dinosaurs. I wonder. I'm curious to see how many shots it takes to kill them instantly. Could I destroy you? Could I destroy are made out of paper? Yeah, because could I destroy are actually not that strong. Also, they're a demonic style unit. So the second you hit them, like you get them low leadership, low, and you start to damage them, they basically just crumble and then they're dead. You know? 
like they, they don't hold on for as long as like normal units and it always bothers me i don't like demonic units or vampire count units or anything that crumbles because then if it gets into a like any other faction it gets into a, a situation where it would have otherwise survived it with the crumbling factions demonic units or undead units it will always die so you can lose like key units based on the crumbling mechanic i do not like it like Kadai Destroyers. Yeah, Kadai Destroyers always seem to crumble for me. And uh, Kadai Fireborn were a massive issue with that. Look at these boys. Shreddies of Lustria. For the Celestial and for all Cathay. Celestrior. Grand General, I can do this. Get out of here, buddy. The Celestial General, General, by the way, is no joke. I love his big, his big mallet, Celestial but uh, Celestial Sweep, and then um, his buffs and the base stats in the single player when you get his buffs is insane. Don't sleep on the Celestial General. He's like probably the best Cathy Lord right now. I still prefer Dreadquake Mortars. Oh yeah, I'm not even into Gundams. I just thought these things were funny. Alright. Okay, wait, hold on. I want to try something here. So how about one fourth here? Another one here. These units are nuts, dude. Hopefully this will be perfectly synchronized and we'll get a full sweep jumping shot. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Holy shit! Yo! He's gone. God damn, dude. I know there's a lot of them. I know that this isn't even remotely, this is supposed to be one unit, but holy fuck, dude, is that cool looking. Is that crazy unit, that crazy looking. Just 50% damage against multiplayer buildings. Nice. Also, anti-lodge, an extra 200 damage for when they're hitting lodge targets, and uh, it has a, a scaling damage thing. So when you hit uh, this, look, Scaled projectile damage against combatants with missing health. So as it loses health, it does more and more damage. Jump with them all at once. Oh yeah, okay, perfect. You guys ready? This is gonna look nuts. <laughs> that is cool. That is actually cool. It's not that strong as well as Giant Leap. I kind of wish it was it was stronger, but uh, it's very good against magical targets. Where's the steam tank when you need it? I mean, I feel like a steam tank would just get obliterated by this thing. By say tank. It's not even close. Funny mech unit. 600 value each, goddamn. All right, anyway, yeah, fun stream. Uh, so I'm thinking uh, if the next stream isn't a BG3 stream, it'll be a Warhammer 3 stream, but it, I'm going to wait for the game to get patched a little bit. Uh, and then we'll do the 3 versus 3 PvP head-to-head -head thing. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Also, I'm going to bring back the Elden Ring streams. Because I want to do more fight clubs. I miss it, dude. I really actually miss it so much. Do their projectiles get reflected? Maybe? I kind of, ooh, I kind of want to test that, though. Like, if I did, like, if I fought, hold on. Hold on. God damn it, I want to do that now. So if I get, uh, like, many Satangs for this faction, right? Give him a random general, whatever. And then, if I get a disgusting amount of Satangs, no other ring, please. Shut up! Elden Ring is coming back. I like Elden Ring, dude. And then I get Miao Ying with a uh, Missile Mirror. 
I'm just gonna take everything off except for missile mirror. Can, will I just kill them all? Oh sevens. Oh yeah. Thank you for the whoever. Uh, I can't remember his name. Wait, it'll be on the uh, thing. Hold on. Never mind. It's bugged. Cool. Very cool. But yeah. Thank you for the donos and stuff. You're mean, Okoy. What? How am I mean? You're the one who doesn't like Elden Ring, like a big nerd, big like stupid nerd. Wait. Wait, what? Oh. The storm How long does this last? Range 200 meters. Victory. Wait, is it only is stuff within body. 200 meters? Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. This is... I didn't realize this mirror... This ability is way worse than I thought it was gonna be. Alright, I'll just dodge. It's fine, I'll just dodge. Oh! No! <laughs> ja, ja, fuck! <laughs> no, 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 no! No, no! Shit, 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 fuck. Alright, whatever. It didn't work. <laughs> I thought it was like, what's the point of that ability? That sucks dick. Alright, that should be just like a buff that you pop on yourself and if anything hits you during it. That sucks ass. That should max enemies. That sucks so much ass, dude. You should just be able to click that and any projectiles that hit you, it reflects the damage back. That's miserable. That's so sad and bad and I hate it. All right, anyway, yeah, fun stream. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'll, like I said, I'll be doing uh, Elden Ring BG3, potentially. Um, yeah, but, uh, and definitely, yeah, fight, fight clubs, all that good stuff. We talked about it throughout the stream. You know what's coming. But uh, I am very busy at the moment with some, with house move stuff, so I'm not going to be streaming as much. Hopefully, well, as soon as I'm settled, I'm going to be back to it, though. But I'll do what I can because they miss streaming, dude. It's a lot of fun. I miss uploading videos and editing. <laughs> all right. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for donating all that good shit, and I'll see you in the next stream. Oh, also, uh, BRE this Friday. Uh, if you're in Bannerlord for that, and also I'm there's like PB and stuff as well, which is persistent battle. If anybody's interested in that, join the Discord and stuff. Hit me up. It's, it's a lot of fun. If you play Bannerlord, trust me, it's a lot of fun. All right, I'll see you guys.